Hello, everybody. We're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Doing an early stream today because I, I was feeling the grinding itch. I was feeling the grinding itch and I was like, come on, man. We, we gotta, we gotta go. We, we gotta get with it early. We got to. And so we are. Let's get those whitetail. Smoke those whitetail, get those great ones. Let's do it. Hey Camden, how's it going? How's everybody doing? Broken Builder, Brayden, Evan, Tragic, uh, Andrew, Copper, Dynamic, Mackenzie, Victor, Real Silver Phoenix, John, Spot VR, uh, Lucan, Raymond, Caden, James, how's everybody doing? That was a lot of reading. I didn't even get through every name either. <laughs> Holy. My gosh. That's insane, guys. 124 of you are already in the stream. Two and a half minutes in on an early stream. Earlier than I normally do. <laughs> you guys are insane. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Holy Orlando, thank you for the super chat. Guess what I got 30 minutes ago? Uh, let's see. What did you get 30 minutes ago? I'm gonna say albino whitetail. I'll keep it. I'll keep it like a like a safe bet. Albino whitetail. Actually, I get. I guess the safest bet would have been diamond whitetail. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna say albino whitetail. How about that? I could see that being it. Thank you for the super chat once again. Let's see what we got over here. A buck right there. That's what we got. Boom. Already four. Holy. Well, I got to find the counter for this one. There we go. Okay. Got the correct counter up. What was the 36th? The great one? It was a white tail that we got during yesterday's live stream. It will be in a video at some point. I know, right? Tragic, it's crazy to think of, dude. Crazy to think of, man. 211. And there's the blood from this guy. Have I ever just had one of my shootable whitetail disappear? Like after, like a respawn? Or just one that you hadn't shot just randomly go missing? Um... If you're talking about just having one randomly disappear that you didn't shoot, I, I don't recall many times where that happened. There was maybe once or twice, but like I couldn't really tell if that's really what happened or what. Down you go. Come on. There we go. There was also a one there. Um, yes, tragic, they do. Literally two-thirds of my whitetail bucks are gone. Hmm. Are you talking about, like, respawns? Like, is it ones that you had already shot and just the respawns didn't come back? Or did you just randomly lose a bunch out of herds that you hadn't shot? That's, that's what I'm curious about. Um, James, thank you for the membership, dude. Really appreciate it. Congrats to Chope, you got the membership. Enjoy all the emotes and other cool stuff that comes with it. Thank you so much, James. Much appreciated, my dude. Is the great one fallow deer out yet? Not yet. Not yet. We're not exactly sure when it will be out either. Hey, CJO, how's it going? You like the title I chose for today? Today's the last day as a member since I got donated a two day. I uh, know you got you got a monthly one gift memberships are monthly So you'll have it for a full month uh, shark Love it. <laughs> I know right I was like, you know what? It's very accurate, so I'll do it <laughs> All right, let's try to get these down And bad shots. Par for the course, though. 
It says member for two days, though. I think that means you've been a member for two days. Because I'm pretty sure you got gifted that membership just a couple days ago. Had anything good? No, we just started, CJO. Um, I don't know if you were... Actually, I don't think you were here yesterday because I think you would have been asleep. We got a great one yesterday. And two really big, like, 230s scoring rares. And... So far today, we haven't got anything, but we're 100 kills into the next grind already. <laughs> I know, right, Jebba? Like, gosh, dude, what? A, I just got to grind harder, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, I think it was yesterday or the day before, Shark, if I'm not mistaken. When did 36 show up? It was yesterday, Ender. It was yesterday. We got to show up like three and a half hours into the stream, I believe. And boom, there was a great one right in front of us. It was insane. I believe that grind was like 1,700 kills as well. Mallard, thank you for the super chat. Some guy shot a fabled moose in the head was a gold. I saw that. I saw the picture of that. Ooh, feels bad, man. Or maybe it was a bear. Oh I actually think I saw somebody accidentally headshot their great one bear. Because it like moved as they shot. That sucks that it happened to a moose as well. Feels bad, man. Thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Holy. Smoking them today. Um, usually great one red deer show up at two to three thousand BSA Latino, but it can be sooner. That's not to say that you can't get one faster, but uh, on average during my grinds, it's usually like two to three thousand, I would say. And just from what I've seen throughout the community, seems to be a, a pretty solid average to go off of. TTK, thank you for the six months, dude. Welcome back. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we're, we're going. We're going. We're going. To get the great ones. I just can't believe we are so close to getting 40 great ones. Like, that is just absurd to think about. We're this close to 40 great ones. Just four more to go. I think we can do it. I think we can totally get 40 before the update. Provided the update is, like, at least a couple weeks away. That's kind of what I'm banking on to make it so we can actually accomplish this. I got to bank on it being at least two weeks away. As much as I'd like for it to come sooner than that. I kind of have, it kind of has to be two weeks or more if I'm going to get to 40. I'm honestly starting to like this zone a little bit better. Before I was kind of like, eh, on it, but it, it's actually not bad. It's not bad. No, there was no EW stream today. No EW stream today. I'm glad that the content helped you out, uh, WV Deer Hunter. Glad the uh, content could help you out. All right, let's drop that guy. Holy Mallard, thank you for the super chat again. 226 viewers. Oh my gosh, you guys are just flooding in here. It's only been 10 minutes, guys. Gosh, y'all are amazing. You guys are absolutely amazing. Also, is this the first like EU fr EU friendly stream I've done in a while? Like it's actually at a time where EU viewers can watch the stream and not be asleep. Like usually I stream late enough to where most people in the EU don't get a chance to watch the stream. Now, this is the first time in a while where I've done it early enough to where it's actually at a reasonable time for them. So that's a that's that's a scarecrow record. Oh, hello there, little diamond. You're very likely a diamond. This is why I keep a tent here now. Because every once in a while, I get a buck there. Every once in a while, I end up getting a buck here. Also, how's it going, Caitlin? I don't know if I said hi or not. There's so, so much going on already. And that's a diamond. 258. Boom. Nice, Huntress. Nice. First dime of the day. Nice. 
Nice, War Dig, nice. Yeah, indeed, Cooper. I decided that it was uh that it was a time for an early stream. Uh not only just for making it easier for the EU viewers to watch, but also because I don't want to just go wild today with a long stream. Get a lot of grinding in. So we will see. Cause it's my uh it is my stepbrothers. Or not stepbrother, brother in laws. Brother in law's birthday today, so I'm probably gonna head over and hang out with him a little bit later. So I wanted to get everything done early so that we could still make our normal progress on the grind. Nice, nay, nay, nice. Welcome to the stream, man. Three bucks down over there. Nothing over there. One more day, TTK? Are you talking about, like, your birthday or something? I see cakes. I see cakes there. Is it your birthday or something? Or is it a gonna be your birthday? If so, then, happy early birthday. Oof. The seventh? Nice, nice. Happy early birthday, TTK. Holy. 7,000 kills later, still streaming. Could you imagine if I did like 7,000 kills in one stream? That'd be like a multiple day stream. That'd be like a week or more long. That would easily be a week long. What was the score of my biggest diamond whitetail deer? Um, I would say 291 if we're talking diamonds, but they can't get that big anymore. This was a long time ago before they lowered the score requirements for diamond and stuff. Oh, I don't blame you, Chope. If they're being weird, then it's definitely a little demotivating. Uh, Johnny, my brother, he has had some issues with Rev on Tuli Whitetail. Are you by any chance on Rev on Tuli? Maybe there's some type of a problem with the respawns there. I know me personally, I've ran into moose respawn issues on Medved and Rev. Um, I know a few people that have ran into issues on Rev for the uh, respawns for Whitetail. Am I going to do something big for the 40th Great One Whitetail? Well... We are very far away from 40 Great One Whitetails, but I'm assuming you're talking for like 40 Great Ones in total. Uh, probably. I don't know what though. We'll probably take it with a bow. We'll probably take number 40 with a bow since we haven't used a bow in a while. I had some people saying they wanted to see me use the crossbow with iron sights. So that's a possibility. I might do that. Welcome back, CJO. Just killed a bunch of does last night, and all I got were doe respawns, three deleted zones, and an albino doe. Wow, Johnny, that's just... That's rough. What's up with your herds, man? I don't get it. What is up with your herds? Some big deer popping already. Come on. Give us the big deer. I'm really hoping that we get another quick grind. We've had so many long grinds recently, like, aside from that quick 289 kill grind, all of them have been between 1,500 and 2,300. I mean, I feel like we are due for another sub 500 kill grind. We gotta be. It's been too long, man. We need another one. Let's see. This is the grinds that we have done ever since we started herd management back up, guys. The first one was 1,461. Second was 1,923. Third was 2,271. Fourth was 289. Fifth was 1,762. And I think there's some people that still think that HM affects great ones. <laughs> I was getting quicker grinds before I continued doing it. During the break when we stopped doing it, most of my great ones were sub-1500.
Got my time in last night. Moose that scored 288. Nice, Curb. That's awesome. That is awesome. Congratulations. Let's get this deer over here. Nope, that's not how we do it. Reset. There we go. There it floated. Seriously, don't know how I got like 700 to 800 kills perfectly fine, then shot a few solo bucks trying to do HM again and went all to crap after that. Yeah, that's that's wild, Johnny. I don't know. That's just wild. That's definitely not normal, I'll tell you that. That's definitely not normal. I'm honestly confused as to why your herds just did that. I've not really heard too many people have that problem with Whitetail. Moose? Yes, I hear a lot of people complain about Moose, but... Whitetail, it's not very often that they just do that. I've heard of a few cases, but not a ton. So it's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. You've ran into quite the strange little respawn bug. I mean, maybe it's just revving up to spawn an ultra rare or something, you know? It's just gonna, it's gonna make up for it with an ultra rare or something like that. Alrighty, that is a shootable buck there. And I think there's one behind it as well. Uh, maybe, I see antlers at least. Oh, never mind, that's him. Yeah, we'll get him next run. Unlikely we'll get vitals on the running shots. I mean, might as well, Johnny. Might as well. Might as well go wild with him. Uh, no, there is no EW stream today. Uh, there will be next week, though. Next week, they will do an EW stream, but this week, there's like a holiday in Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And so they're not going to be doing one. Hey, Flanky, how's it going? Good morning, man. Rise and shine, everybody. It's 1021 in the morning. At least for me, it's 1021. Uh, we removed that command, uh, Shark, because a lot of people were confused and didn't get the meme since it was a very old command. A lot of people didn't uh, get the, the meme of it, so we had to remove it. It was confusing too many new viewers. Gotcha, Eric. Okay. Yeah, so they're taking the day off. And because of that, there is no stream for EW. But, I mean, at least we still got a stream here to grind some Whitetail. Would be nice to get some more news on the new map, though. But I'm sure we'll get more news next week. Oh, there's another buck. Hey, buddy. Hey, we got him. Nice. This zone has been really consistent so far. I really like that. Wish they would have at least dropped the trailer today. That would have been so good. Though, I imagine they probably want to do that when they actually have a stream so that more people can see it. Because usually when they drop a trailer or something, they hype it up, right? So, I would imagine they probably are going to do that next week. Actually, I don't even know. Like, next week's just going to be the full exploration of the map, right? Isn't that what Jaxi said they're going to be doing, is just exploring Australia? Huh. I don't know. Hard to say, but either way, at least we'll get to see something next week. I'm hoping they'll post something sooner than that, though. Be nice if we could get a little tidbit. Uh, wow, you are a tiny level one. Okay. What a small male. You know, if you were in a different zone, I'd probably leave you, but... I can't have you in my main zone, man. Just, no. No level ones allowed here. Do I hunt in real life? Yes, I do. I haven't recently, but growing up, I did a, a decent bit of hunting. Never really had any luck with it, though. Always got skunked, unfortunately. 
fishing was a different story. I did pretty good with fishing. Always have preferred fishing over hunting, like, for IRL. But, uh, yeah, I've been hunting a few times. Oh, I bet it is, Broken Builder. I bet it is. Yes, me too, Wacky. I really badly want to see it. Like, ah, uh, hearing that they reworked Red Deer is just... It's amazing. They desperately needed something like that. They desperately needed it. Wow, we're more consistently getting a buck here. That's interesting. I have a question. Doing a moose grind on Rev, my moose aren't showing up in zones until the last hour, and even then, some just don't spawn. Gone through the whole map and no new zones. Yeah, that's normal, Dennis. That's just how moose are. The only way to counteract that is if you have tents next to your zones, you can reset the time until the moose show up in their zone. However, it's expensive to do it that way, but it's the only way to get consistency with moose. And even then, they're not going to be super consistent, unfortunately. Moose are one of those tough ones where it's just going to be a slow grind. I think the best I was able to do with moose was like maybe 40 or 50 moose an hour. And that's when I was resetting the time at every single zone to force them into their zones. I lost like 1.5 million on Medved doing that. So it definitely is not, like, cash efficient. So I don't recommend doing it unless you have a surplus of extra cash to spend. Think that was the only buck there? At least only visible one. Why is there no EW stream? Because it's a holiday in Sweden. Three bucks over there? Are you kidding me? And one of them's a level one. We're suddenly getting a lot of ones, man. Okay, nice. We got them both. How's my day going? It's going really good. Having an awesome day. Smoking some white tailed deer, hoping for another great one. How do you make sure a deer dies instantly? Try to get double lung or heart shots with a stronger 4 to 8 class rifle. I use the 308 AR with polymer tip bullets as it ensures that I'll get double lung on pretty much everything. And it's a strong enough rifle to where in most cases that will drop the deer on the spot. Biggest thing is just make sure you're getting good vital hits. Going for that double lung is huge in terms of making sure that they die quickly. Ooh, that's a big boy three. There we go. That is the nicest three of the day. Holy, we're already at 131 kills on this grind, which means today alone, we've killed like 39 deer. 39 deer in 25 minutes is crazy. Like, that's absurd. Are we going to hit an all-time record for most kills in an hour? If they behave, we definitely could. We definitely could. 265, that is a diamond. Diamond number two of the day. Boom. Kind of a wonky dude as well. Not uh, wonky enough to tax, though. Rip Red Deer HM. Yeah, tragic. Rest in pieces to the Red Deer HM. But, I mean, next time you hunt Red Deer, at least they'll have some uh, better looking fur, hopefully. How do you spawn so many big ones? With a grinding method called herd management. Herd management is essentially just loading your map up with level 1s and the game seeing that you have so many level 1s and deciding, hey, we need to spawn bigger stuff to compensate for that. And that's why we've got a ton of 3s showing up. Because uh, I have currently 73 zones on my map for Whitetail. I only hunt like 10 of them. All of the other ones have nothing but level 1s for the most part. And because of that, the ones that I shoot more commonly come back as Giants. Got tons of guides on how to do this on the channel if you're interested. 
Um, other content creators have some guides for it as well. People like uh, Lady Legend, I buy premiums. They do herd management a decent bit as well. And uh, lots of other people that I cannot uh, think of off the top of my head. And that's going to be a reload. Probably should have done that. Thank you for taking a drink. That uh, helped out quite a bit in taking you down. It's nice when they do that. No, Curb, I don't, because then I'll have a ton of people asking for it, and then the entire stream would just be shouting people out, you know? Uh, oh, oh gosh, he's he doesn't want me to get to the diamond. 262? That's low scoring for this rack. I'm assuming it's the tip-to-tip -tip spread. Holy. Well, we already got three diamonds on the day, so not bad. We're off to a really strong start, better than we have been the last couple days. And we're off to an insane start on the amount of deer we've killed. That's 43 in 27 minutes. Jeez. That is pure insanity. I haven't been able to do that in a long time. Our deer are being really nice for once. They're for once cooperating how I need them to. Why don't I tax? Because I've killed close to a thousand. Actually, that was our thousandth whitetail diamond. That was 1,000 diamond whitetail right there. Over the course of 30, just under 36,000 whitetail kills, uh, with a lot of them being herd management. That's why I don't tax them anymore. I only tax the really, like, unique ones. Like, if I get a crazy looking diamond that's, like, one of a kind super wonky or something like that, then I'll tax it. Or if it's just abnormally large for its rack type. Those are the circumstances in which I will tax a uh, white-tailed deer. Or rares, of course. I'll tax rares and great ones. Alright, we got a couple bucks there. Man, the respawns are being so reliable. I'm actually blown away. Uh, that one ran over there. We'll grab him after we shoot these two. Got to make the best of our time. Why did it stop and turn around? Hey, that's what I'm saying. That deer was not, uh, he wasn't exactly the smartest. If he had just kept running, I wouldn't have been able to get him. There's the antler. So, about there. It worked! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe that worked. We just hit a shot based on where the antlers were. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was nasty. That was a nasty shot. Oh my gosh. So nasty it killed my voice. Time to chug some water. Stay hydrated, kids. Random turkey? Yeah, we dropped him on the spot. Oh my gosh. That's insane. That is insane. Oh, well, that's why. We vertebrae shot him. So it wasn't a perfect shot, but it was good enough. That explains why it just dropped on the spot, though. Spine shots will do it. Spine shots will do it. All right, down here we go. Nice, Austin. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome. Hey, Dynamic. Hope you're doing good, man. Hope you're doing great. Nothing there. Nothing there. Hope your next great one comes soon. Me too, man. Me too. Oh, we're due for a super quick grind, I feel. We've only had one fast grind out of the last, like, I don't even know, out of the last, like, five or six grinds, only one of them's been quick. So I'd say we're due for one that's a little bit faster. All right, so it's just those two. All righty.
And... Oh, there they are. Is 266 for a red deer really big? Uh, that's a decent one, yeah. That's on the higher end. I'm also doing a great one grind. My zone, my main zones is only level one. How do I fix it? So the only thing you can do is shoot the level ones in your main zone. Uh, that's the thing. If a one shows up in my main zones, I shoot it. I only leave the ones if they show up in the other zones. Because you want the ones to be in your external zones and your main zones to be level twos. You don't want those ones to start stacking up in your main zones. Nice. We have now killed 50 whitetail in 32 minutes. Oh my gosh, we are on the track to hit 100. Technically, we started shooting deer two minutes into the stream, so... It's actually more like... 30 minutes for 52 deer or for 50 deer. No, bro, you're not you're not getting ignored. There's 380 people in here and a lot of them are chatting, so I'm going to miss some messages. That is that is just the nature of the beast. I can't read every message that comes through. You just got unlucky enough to where I didn't see your message until the one asking if you're getting ignored. Just the way it is, man. I can't read everything. I read what I can, but it's impossible to read every message. What's my biggest fallow deer? Uh, I think like 265 or 266. I don't really have any like massive diamond fallow deer. Nice, Andrew. Hopefully you end up getting a nice bear great one. You'd be luckier than me at that point. I just can't get the bears to cooperate, man. I just don't get it. The bears don't like me. At least the whitetail do. I am quite happy that the whitetail have been kind. For the most part. Okay, he'll die. That was good enough. I think I got an idea. Since we're trying to make the most out of our time, I think what we'll start doing is if they run far away, I'll just make sure that I shoot the opposite zone first and then ATV over to the one that's far away. <laughs> I'm glad that deer was not smart. Uh, that saved us right there. Like, this is honestly probably something I should have been doing from the beginning. Even though it's not a very long walk, it's still faster if one of them ran a far, far distance. And off we go to collect deer number two from this zone. There's the blood. And there's the deer. Is it okay to shoot a moose zone with one bull and two cows? Uh, yes, that should be fine. I would recommend just shooting the bull out of there. Wish there was a stream today? Me too. I wish so as well. But, I mean, next week it sounds like it's going to be an insane stream, so... I'm excited for what we will see next week. We'll finally get a, a good look at the map. From the sounds of it. All right, we can pop those too. Honestly, I can probably leave that one for now if we keep getting double respawns here. Because I rarely can shoot all three bucks out of this zone anyway. Most of the time I can only get two down. That's going to be fine, I think. I think we'll leave that one there. As long as I continue to get two respawns, we'll be fine. Hopefully they'll show the 22, 250. Oh man, I hope so, please. I would love to see them take the 22, 250 out for something like the uh, Rusa or the hog deer or feral goats. Like, I want to see them go for something where I feel like it would be the proper size, right? 
Because when I think of 22250, I think of, like a lot of people, a better version of a 223, essentially. Like, it's supposed to be better than a 223 in real life. And they showed the buff to the 223 last week. So I can imagine the 22250's got to be better, right? Like, I feel like it's got to be. When did I get great 136? We got it yesterday. We got it yesterday after a 1,750 or 1,762 kill grind. Should be classes 2 to 5. That would be nice. That would make it better than the uh, 223 in class. We'll have to see. I'm hoping they make it good. I really hope it's not a disappointment. That would be so sad if it is. But based on what Jaxie told us last time, it sounds like it's pretty good. Sounds like it's going to be an absolute monster. I really hope at least. Uh, not really, Trevor. We haven't got anything insane. We got, uh, three diamonds, but we're doing herd management, so diamonds are somewhat common. Swanee, thank you for the 26 months. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. 26 months as a member is crazy. Yeah, that is wild. What great one was number 36? It was a big rack whitetail that we got yesterday. What's the best gun for hunting whitetail? I like the 308 AR the best. 308 AR is really good for them. Um, the M1 can be pretty decent as well. I think the M1 is kind of like a sleeper pick. Not as many people use it now because of the 308 AR being a thing, but the M1 still gets the job done, man. It still does really good on them. And nowadays, even the 7mm bolt action is a decently popular choice just because it's really powerful. What is the hardest great one to find? Uh, probably the bear. The bear is definitely the toughest. I think technically... What are you? Oh, gosh. That's a weird deer. Uh, I think technically red deer take more kills on average. I've just got very unlucky with my bears. But uh, in general, bears are really difficult to hunt efficiently. So you end up killing very few per hour, which makes it take a lot more time. And so a lot of people don't even go for it. So it's definitely the rarest great one and hardest to get. But I think technically red deer on average take more kills, but red deer are so easy to hunt that it feels like they're way easier to get. Oh, no worries, Swanee. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's good to see you. There's a buck right there. Wait, where did... I know I saw another. It ran off to the left and then just disappeared. No, off-duty, I haven't. I just don't play it right now because it doesn't have enough content. Finally back on the streams, how are you? I'm doing good, Justin. Welcome back, man. I hope you're doing awesome. Hope you're doing super great. Oh, yeah, for sure, Shark, for sure. It's a big game. It is a big game. 30 to 35 bear an hour, so that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, 30 to 35 is not bad. Um, I'd say on most bear grinds, if you can get more than 30, you're doing pretty decent. For HM, do you shoot diamonds as soon as you see them or stack them? Uh, it depends, crazy. Stacking is like... Stacking's one of those things that... Oh, that's a big... Th oh, my gosh. That could be a 270. That that dude's wide. That could be a 270 basket. Oh, man. That's like... That's pretty huge. That's pretty big. Come on, peek out. Peek out more! There's another buck in there we can shoot. Oh, he is way smaller. 
This three just doesn't want to give us a good shot. That's a huge basket rack, like massive. Come on, man, get out of the brush. I want to take a shot. What a buck. What a buck, man. That's huge. Huge and stubborn. <laughs> Here we go. He's finally out. We got him. We got him. Let's go. That's huge, man. That could be a 270, please. Please be a 270. Please be a 270. If this is a 270, I will be so happy. That. Oh, that's huge. Watch it be the small variation of the rack so it'll score like low 260s. That'd be my luck. I think this is the big version of the rack though. 266. It wasn't nearly as... Oh, I see. Okay, I see what made it look huge. The tines point upwards more than normal. That's still a cool deer. Not nearly as big as I thought it was, but... That's a cool buck. Not a bad dime. 26.43 on the counter. Holy. That is quite the dime. Too bad it wasn't 270 plus. I was really hoping we could uh, get another 270, man. You know how many moose zones there are on Rev? No clue. I never counted them on Rev. With moose, I kind of just started hunting. Moose are a weird one because, like, every time you shoot a solo moose, the zone will delete that, that, uh, that comes with it. And then, like, wherever it goes, it'll create a new zone. So your zone count is always fluctuating. So I didn't really bother keeping track of zones. All I know is on Medved, there's over 120. But I don't know the exact number, and I assume Rev is the same. Have I ever accidentally shot a black tail? Like thinking it was a white tail deer? Uh no, I can't I can't say I have. I've hunted black tail deer before in the game, if that's what you're asking. What was the score on the diamond? It was 266. Wasn't as big as I thought, but it was still a solid deer, to be honest. Like, that's still a good size basket rack. It's just not the 270 plus I was hoping. Another big one showing up at this zone. Man, we got our map just popping off with diamonds. Got him. Oh no, Zachary, that sucks, dude. That sucks. How many moose an hour is efficient? Uh, anything above 40. Anything above 40, I would say, is an efficient moose grind. Another diamond. Yes. We're having a good day already. <laughs> That's like what? Five diamonds in 45 minutes? We're off to a phenomenal start. That's like a diamond every 13 kills or something? Our HM is, like, getting to an insane point, apparently. It was already doing really good, and now that we found some more zones and have started shooting them down to, uh, low levels, it's working even better. Alright, we got two bucks there. Ninety-nine percent sure I got both bucks. I think we did. And I'm gonna skip this song. 
too slow for me. I don't know. Recently, I've just not been feeling the slow music in the playlist. Just uh, not exciting enough for a great one grind. Like when I'm great one grinding, I want to. I want to be excited. I want to be hyped up. I need to go through my playlist and like get rid of some of the songs I don't like, and then add some new ones that I do. I think it's about time I go through and redo the playlist because we've uh, we've been using the same music for years at this point. I need a fabled piebald next for sure, for sure. If we could get one, oof. I'd be the luckiest person in Call of the Wild. I doubt I ever will get one, but it would be awesome if we did. I certainly would not be mad if we did, that's for sure. That'd be insane. Oh gosh, Shark, yeah, you got a wild wait then. That's, uh, that's a long download. For sure. Hello there. That's not going to make dime. It's a big one, but it's not going to make diamond. Not good enough tip to tip, I think. I mean, maybe it'll surprise me, but I think the tip to tip spread is way too low. Also, that is our 69th kill of the day. Oh, it might make it. Nope, just barely off. Okay. What is my favorite rare fur for Whitetail? My favorite rare fur is probably Melanistic. I already updated it, Hunting Man. Fabled Mellow would look so cool. For sure. For sure. Whitetail actually, like, Whitetail Great Ones can be Mella. But I don't think there is such thing as, like, Fabled Mella, sadly. But they can be Melanistic. Nobody's ever killed one, though. So far, one Albino. And, like, ten or so Fabled Piebalds have been found for Whitetail. Like, in the entire existence of the Whitetail Great One. That's a one. Another one. We're getting ones popping up everywhere, man. Is there something insane on the map? Imagine we got a great one on the map and it's driving the scores down of everything else. Nice. Hey, AEW, how's it going, dude? Shit ones in your main zones, correct? Yes. Unless it's a zone that has like three or four bucks. Then you don't necessarily have to shoot all the ones in the main zone. The biggest thing is just make sure you have at least two shootable bucks in each of your main zones. If you've got a zone with like three bucks and like one doe, then you'd want to leave one of those bucks as a one. Nice, Optic. Hopefully it goes well for you, dude. One deer there. Uh, no, shark, I haven't. No, we don't, uh, fan, we don't. There is no official release date yet for the new map. The second I know, I will make a video on it, I promise. The second that I know, you guys will know as well. Probably in two to three weeks, hopefully. Yeah, I would imagine somewhere around there. That would be very likely. Hey, Buffle, my day's been really good. We've been doing pretty nicely. We've already got five diamonds on the day. And we've been getting insanely consistent respawns in our zones. Like a really absurd amount of consistency, which is honestly really nice to see. I honestly think that adding this zone into the grind over here was really all our grind needed to uh, 
get the consistency on track. Having one other zone to grind seems to have done wonders. And I honestly think that was our problem before. We just didn't have enough zones in our main rotation. And now that we found a couple extras, it's uh, it's made it better. Yeah, there will be no EW stream today. There will be one next Tuesday, though. And as of now, we have no idea what they're going to really do, aside from, like, showing off more of Australia. We're hoping we'll get to see the 22250. Maybe get uh, an in-depth look at all the species. Like, that's what I'm hoping for. We shall see, though. What do you guys think we'll end up seeing in next week's uh, stream, aside from, like, more of Australia, like Jaxie said? Do you think they'll show off the 22250? Do you think they'll show off, like, the new outfit that's coming with the update? Do you think maybe they'll spend a little time on, like, the new Truerack species? I got a feeling they won't really show the true rack species, though, because it's not, like, Australia-related. But I would honestly love to see the new bison true racks. I'm kind of curious what they're going to do with them. Holy! How many zones did I hunt when I was going for moose without herd management? I hunted pretty much every lake in the north of Revon 2 Leaf Ender. And I'm planning to make another American Marksman video. Uh, whenever they do a big update for the game, I will. Do you think all the new species will go up to five? Um, I don't know. I have no idea. It's hard to say. I would imagine probably. I mean, none of them really strike me as the type of animal that would go up to level 9, but who knows? Maybe we'll get surprised. Really, the only thing we know about classes and levels is that Jaxie said the Bantang is class 9, I think. I believe he said it's the newest addition to the class 9 animals. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure he said that. And then he picked up a call from a kangaroo, and somebody pointed out that it said class 4. Or five. Was it four? I think four. Oh, true. Crocs probably will go to level nine because gators go to level nine. That's a good point. So yeah, I'd say it's likely Crocs will go to nine. I'd be very surprised if they didn't. Ruse R4? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. I couldn't remember. It's been a while since I've watched the uh, footage. From that stream. That's a little feller. Don't run. <laughs> All right, what we got there? That's a buck. That's a buck. Okay. Yeah, wish I could have seen him better a little sooner. We now have 80 kills on the day in about 53 minutes of shooting because we started shooting them like two, two and a half minutes in. So it's been about 53 minutes, and we've already killed 80. No, I didn't do HM for the last three moose grinds, or last two moose grinds. Like, uh, let's see. On Medved, we did HM for the first three. And then on the fourth grind, I did like 1,200 kills of HM. And then like 3,000 kills of non-HM. To be honest, I think it was partial HM because I couldn't find all of them to shoot down. Or I couldn't find all of the twos to shoot. So I'm pretty sure we didn't get it undone as much as I wanted to. 
So it was more of like 1,200 kills of HM and then 3,000 kills of partial HM on the Medved Moose grind for the last one. And then eventually we just got tired of it and my moose started behaving weird. So we went to Revontuli and then 300 kills later, we got a great one moose with no HM. Then 1200 kills later, another great one moose showed up with no HM. Which is why I still say, I don't think HM affects them. I feel like it's fully RNG. Great one today? I hope so. I definitely hope we do. Sikadir are class 4 and they're kind of similar. Yeah, I hope... I would imagine they gotta be class 3, Johnny. They would have to be, right? But yeah, that is a good point. Sikadir surprised us with their class. So we could be wrong, but... I would think that it would have to be class 3. But I mean, if it is class 4, you, you best believe I'm gonna be blasting them with the 7 mil, just like you said, Johnny. They're going to get the 7 millimeter treatment a ton if they're class 4. Which would probably be pretty satisfying, I would imagine. Have I got anything good? Yeah, we got a few diamonds, Nolan, but no rares, no great ones. But the day is still young. We're only one hour into it. Yeah, HM means herd management. Do I ever hunt red deer in Hirschfelden? I've done it a few times. It's not something I really like to do that often because I'm not a big fan of Hirsch. To me, Hirsch is a very like mediocre map. Mainly just because it's super brushy and a lot of the species that are on there have better places that you can hunt them now. Like, almost all the species on Hirsch have been added to other maps, and they're just better to hunt on those other maps. With Red Deer being the main one, to be honest. Like, Tiabaro is a gold mine for Red Deer. Same for Fallow. It's hard to choose Hirsch over Tiabaroa when Tiabaro is just so much better and more fun. But, I mean, obviously, that's my personal preference. Some people love Hirschfelden more. It's just not for me. Doesn't fit my play style at all. And you guys know how I play. I like to be super quick, just like boom, 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 bouncing between everything. Um. New ones. Okay, that's a new one. Okay. I'm gonna shoot this one because I think it's the biggest of the three ones. Gotta love it when they just pop up out of nowhere. Alright, so we got two and a half minutes before it'll be exactly one hour since we started shooting deer. Uh, we're currently at, what is that, 88 kills. Holy. 88 kills on the day. And we even took a couple minutes to wait for a deer to turn. Uh, for that basket rack diamond. It's so, like, we could have killed even more. We probably could have hit 100. How long do I stream? Nowadays, like, between three and a half to, like, six hours, on average. I think a normal stream's usually like four hours nowadays. Four hours is about the uh, the norm. After the reset, I'm gonna grind reds on Hirsch. Oof, that's gonna be interesting, Cooper. Hopefully it works well for you. I hear some people say that they love it. I hear others say that they hate it. Really interested to see what your luck is like. I hope we didn't hit the doe there. I know I hit the buck, but I might have hit the doe too. If I did, we're going to have to back out. I don't think we hit her. Got her track. Looks fine. It looks fine. Okay. Yeah, we hit the buck twice. Oh, thank God we hit the buck twice. The doe was running this way, though. That was sketchy. That could have ended really badly. 
That could have ended terribly. All right, we got about 40 seconds before it'll be exactly an hour. Man, we are hitting really good kill counts, though. We just hit 90. We just hit 90 kills. It looks like 92 is going to be what we'll get. That's a good first uh, hour. Why is killing does bad? Because I already shot two bucks, so it would have deleted the zone if I hit the doe as well. Because that is a four deer zone. If I shoot three, it will delete it. And that will mark the end of the first hour of grinding. We got exactly 92 kills. Jeez. Bringing this grind to 184 kills. Yeah, and the other thing about killing does too is sometimes if you shoot a doe in a whitetail grind, and this is whitetail specific as far as I know, sometimes killing a doe in a whitetail grind will make that doe swap with one of your bucks in a different zone, or even worse, it could create a brand new herd. I've had a couple scenarios where I accidentally shot a doe, next thing I know, that doe and a few of my bucks disappeared, and then, you know, a few hundred kills later, I'll go searching around my map trying to figure out where they've gone, and I find a new zone, and it's like, well, there they are, that, that's where they went. Do I have any great ones that I know of? Wait, what? Um, I'm sorry. I'm confused. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Do I have any great ones that I know of? Like on the map? I don't have any on the map that I know of. If that's what you meant. No, I didn't. BSA, I didn't see it. If I didn't respond to it, I probably didn't see it. Later, Wardick. Thank you for dropping in. Later, TTK. Have fun at work, dude. There we go. It's drinking clear up there. Call the wild logic, am I right? Okay, we didn't hit the dough. That that shot didn't connect to that buck, so I got a little scared. No, it was a joke, Shark. <laughs> TDK is not seven. TDK is much older than seven. You feel the panic through the stream? Yeah, yeah, there's a there's always panic whenever I think I shot a doe. It's like, oh gosh, did I ruin that zone? You wouldn't think that just shooting a doe could ruin a zone, but it, it definitely can. It has happened too many times to me. Hey Derby, how's it going? Uh you missed like five diamonds, I believe. Five or six diamonds. Nolan, thank you for the super chat, dude. How's your day going? Also, can you find the great one in multiplayer? Thanks and love your vids. Uh, yes, technically you can find it in multiplayer, but the chances are obviously really low. Because in order for it to be in multiplayer, that would have to mean that the person that opened up the session had a great one on their map when they opened it. Or people just shot enough whitetail in that session or other animals that have great ones to where like a great one spawned. It's unlikely to find a great one in multiplayer, but it is possible. Thank you for the uh, super chat, though. Really appreciate it. All right. We got double respawns here again. Good. That means I don't got to shoot that one yet. Reloading would help. If you guys didn't know, you need bullets to uh, shoot whitetail. Who would have thought? How do you know if you've discovered all your white tail drinking zones? Uh, there is no way to know. There is no way to know. Uh, you just gotta be thorough and hope that you found them all. That's pretty much all there is to it. 
Usually, if you've got over 65 zones, you've probably found the majority. And if you have over 70, I'd say you definitely found the majority. I mean, I found like 72 or 73 zones, somewhere in that range. And at this point, I think I've found most of them. Why drinking zones? Because feeding zones and resting zones are harder to find and harder to hunt. If you have feeding and resting zones, there's a good chance they're going to be more spread out. They're going to be in the trees, making it really hard to hunt them. And drink zones are just the easiest. You know exactly where to go. They can only be around water. And nine times out of ten, it's going to be much more open than the feeding and resting zones because usually there's less trees and brush near the water. Except for, like, some exceptions, like reeds, like this. There's there's reeds. There There is that. No respawns here. That's the first uh, respawnless zone of the day. Is ochre rare for Capricali? No, I don't believe it is. I think that is a common. Do believe that's a common. There's a buck. Two of them. Ooh. Wipe out. Those little brain shots are too satisfying. Hey, Hollow Crow, how's it going? 8 to 100 DR per hour more like? Wow. Calling me stinky is the first thing you say. I wouldn't expect anything less. How you doing, Hollow? How you doing? Hope all is well. I think it's working. Just found a new zone with five deer in it. Nice, Johnny. Nice. And that's what we like to see. That is awesome. Hopefully you can get all of your deer back. That would be great. If they all just like, uh, cooperated. Just need to delete like 60 zones. <laughs> oh man, Johnny, that's rough. And maybe that's what I need to do for my moose, right? Maybe I just need to go through my moose on Rev and just delete every single zone I have and Hope that they respawn in good places. Uh-oh. Our respawns are misbehaving. No. Ah, oh, man. That sucks. Oh, well. Do I play Minecraft? I've played it a decent bit before. It's been a while since I played it last, but I've, uh, I've played it before. Hey Tom, how's it going, dude? Yeah, none. Yeah, none. This is uh, this is usually how it is around update times. Update times are always like the most exciting. Is that a one? Oh, please be a one. Ah, it's a two. It's all twos. It's all fence rack twos, man. <laughs> All fence rack twos. Snakehead, thank you for the super chat, dude. I don't get the whole class thing because personally I think some animals like Axis deer should be higher because they're heavier and seem tougher than some of the class four animals. Yeah, the thing about Axis deer is they used to be smaller. They had to upsize their models and change the antlers for like true racks, right? Whenever they got true racks, they upsized the model. And because of that, they ended up being, like, larger than they were. They used to be really tiny. And so that's why they were class three. So I think that's the that's the thing about the Axis deer. They're, they're a strange thing because of that. Thank you for the super chat, by the way. All righty. Can I ask you to do some science for my amusement? Do a reverse HM or just shoot the tiniest males till a great one spawns? Gosh, that'd be amazing. Could you imagine that? Maybe one of these days I'll do something like that. That's, oh gosh, that'd be a lot of work. That'd be more work than HM, I think. That would be tough. I mean, I'd be up for the challenge one of these days, though, just see if I can get some insanely tiny rares. 
Because I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of jealous of that level one minimum weight melanistic moose you have. I'm very jealous of that thing. Uh, yes, Beaver, we are using herd management. What is my favorite gun to use and also how to get so much money? My favorite gun to use is the 308 AR and uh, I get all of my money from Great One Grinding. Like 90% of my cash in game is from Great One Grinding. If you do a ton of grinding, you build up cash really quickly. Now think of it this way, we've killed 20,000 red deer during our red deer grinding and each red deer gives over a thousand cash. We stopped doing it for a while, Beaver, because we weren't sure if it was okay. But the developers did a, there was a live stream where Jaxie Beards told everybody that they don't see herd management as being a cheat and that it's completely fine to do. And he also clarified later that that also means that they don't see it as an exploit, which means it's okay to do. And that was my one condition for coming back to HM was that EW or somebody from EW had to say how they felt on the topic. And since they spoke out on it, we were able to continue doing it because they confirmed that they're okay with it. Which was really awesome. That was a that was a huge day, man. That was an exciting day hearing that announcement. Would I rather have a super rare lynx or a super rare gray fox? Uh gray fox? Gray fox are one of my favorite small game trophies in the entire game. They just look so good. Like, the fur is beautiful. All the fur types are great. The rares look amazing. Like, oh my gosh. I think my dream would be a leucistic. A leucistic super rare gray fox. That's like one of my most wanted small game trophies. Just so incredible. I know, Hollow. I'm so jealous. <laughs> like, that's a crazy trophy. I can't believe you got that. Like, that's an absurd super rare to get. It really makes me want to someday HM foxes, but I also think that would just be terrible. <laughs> like, I couldn't see that being fun. But I really want a super rare fox, like... I really want a super rare fox. Okay, that one disappeared. Rest in pieces to that deer. How long have I been doing YouTube? I've been doing YouTube for a little bit over three years now. Now, I had a channel before then, but I kind of just uploaded like random stuff here and there with friends and, and stuff when I was like 14 years old. So I don't have any of those videos on the channel anymore. Like three years ago, when, uh, when the Rona hit and everybody was inside, I needed something to do and I figured, you know, I've always wanted to start up a YouTube channel, so now's the time to do it. And so I started things up and started fresh with Call of the Wild. And then, I mean, the rest is history. You guys know what happened after that. Alright, Hollow. Uh, I can do that. It's probably not gonna, like, help you too much just because... It's likely that half of the zones won't even be where they are for me. But yeah, I could do that. Uh, just send me a message in Discord to remind me, or else I'll forget. <laughs> I'll probably forget by the end of the stream if you don't send me a message in Discord. So just send me one and I will, uh, I'll get the screenshots. Oh, just want to fill in gaps that you might be missing. Gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. To be honest, like, Whitetail can literally be anywhere on the left side. Like, this entire river can have Whitetail. All of the southern coast can have Whitetail. All of Belmont Swamp. And this little lake to the right of it. This edge of this lake. All of this area can have him. All the lakes on the left side of the map. Even this little guy up here. I mean, I, I have Whitetail zones clear at the very north tip of the map. Um, so yeah, that's like the range of Whitetail. As just like a quick, uh, quick overview for you while I'm still doing my stream. And then I'll get you the, the map later. But that's the quick breakdown of like, where they can be. 
literally any dot of water in that range can probably have whitetail. That, that's what I've been learning as I've gone. There's a lot of places that you wouldn't even think that it's big enough to have whitetail deer, but it has a herd of whitetail deer. I can't remember. Um, I think it was LC. I think it was LC. LC has a whitetail herd right here. At that tiny little dot of a lake. Whitetail can be there. Like, it's insane. The tiny little spots that they choose for their zones. Hey, that's a dime. That is a dime. Um, I've already done a skills and perks video, Kent. I've got one in my first episode of the... Uh, Beginner's playthrough that I did. I did a beginner's playthrough less than a year ago, and my first episode I talked about all the perks I use, all the skills I use, and why I use them. So I would recommend checking that out. It'll give you the best in-depth explanation on everything. Two hundred and four whitetail into the grind. Why don't I use a bow? I just don't like using bows, Beaver. I'm much more of like a run and gun, fast paced player. I like fast paced grinding, or just like sprinting around for upland birds until they flush out in front of me. That's more my style than bows. The only time I ever use a bow is if I'm going to take down like a great one or a diamond with it, which isn't super often, but pretty soon I'll probably be taking out a great one with a bow. I think we're going to take a great one out with the bow for uh, our 40th great one. I want to take it down with the iron sights crossbow. Rover suggested that the other day and honestly, it's not a bad idea. Could be interesting. Sorry for the long message, but I shot a five medium blue wildebeest. Did not see its health dropping. Then I changed the time, but it died right after. Do you know what happened? Yes. When you change the time, it speeds up the death process. So if it was going to die and you reset the time, chances are that'll make it die. Is Leighton Lakes better for Whitetail or Rev on Thule? Uh, both are really good. It depends on what you prefer. There's less places that you have to look for Whitetail on Leighton versus Rev on Thule. But Rev on Thule has less brush, so... It's like, you know, which one do you prefer? What if the 40th is fallow or bear? Well, if it's bear, we're not taking it with a bow. That's for sure. I refuse to take a bear with the bow with a stand-up glitch being a thing. I've already played with him before, Lucas. I've already done a few different uh, videos and streams with him in the past. Like I've said before, I'm always down to collab with people, but getting other people to collab with you is the tough part. For some reason, a lot of the creators in the Call of the Wild community aren't really too big on collaborating. I'm not sure why, but there's just so many creators that never do collabs. Ah, uh, we didn't get that buck. Wait. Yeah, we did. Did I hit vitals? Ah, no organs hit. It might have been spine still. That could have been a spine hit. Because it died really quick for, like, being a no organs hit. Yeah, Brober doesn't collab. Brober doesn't collab. He hangs out. <laughs> How you doing, Brobra? I'm taking you up on that on that uh, idea to use a crossbow with iron sights. I'm going to take great one number 40 with it if it's a whitetail. If great one number 40 is a whitetail, we're going to take it down with that. And honestly, I think like the last whitetail we get before the update hits, we'll probably take with the uh, iron sights crossbow. Because like at a certain point, like once we get a release date... 
if it's like a couple days away from like early access or something, then I'll probably just take whatever great one spawns with the uh, Iron Sights crossbow. The thing about Whitetail is Whitetail are kind of stupid. Like they're they're not exactly the smartest animal in Call of the Wild, so it's pretty easy to get close to them. If you just prone the whole way and watch your wind and use cover to your advantage, you can get within like 30 meters of a whitetail. I mean, I've done it with my last two great ones. So I think we can get close enough to where it'll just be like a, a it'll be like a chip, you know? It'll be an easy little chip shot. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> hey, that's a dime again. Really want a diamond? Please teach me your pro ways. Herd management. Herd management is how we get the insane numbers of diamonds. It's essentially just don't shoot the low levels, only shoot the high levels. I got a couple guides on the channel that talk it, uh, that talk through it a little bit better, more in depth. Oh my gosh, it's CJO back. Oh, bro, bromite. So many diamonds today? Oh yeah, we're doing good on diamonds. I think we're currently at... Like 116? 116 kills, and we've got like 7 diamonds. That's really good. That's really good. 36 and counting. Oh yeah. Going for that 40, man. Fallow was a great one? Not quite. Fallow Deer will have a great one after the next update. Which is honestly really exciting news. I'm so excited about the Fallow Great One. We're gonna go crazy on the Fallow Deer for sure. Did I get them both? I think I screwed up the first one. Uh, Cam, thank you for the membership, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, the extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel. And all that other cool stuff. Thank you so much. And Tony, how's it going? How is it going, Tony? What is a good gun for gators? Uh, let's see. To be honest... Literally any gun that's within their class range will work fine for gators because the thing about gators is you're supposed to go for neck shots and brain shots. Neck shots and brain shots are how you take down gators quickly and efficiently. So you can use any gun that has enough penetration to hit the neck bone or the brain, which is most guns within their class range. I mean, even the 6.5 works really good for gators. However, I would probably recommend the 7mm bolt action or the 303 bolt action. They're probably the strongest that'll do the best. Uh, 308 AR is probably going to be really good as well. How many diamonds have I got today? I think like 7 or 8, if I'm not mistaken. Somewhere around that number. Decent little buck over there. Boom. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Thank you, KG. Thank you. Got my first crowned wildebeest and diamond lesser kudu. Nice, Swift. That's awesome. I haven't seen a diamond lesser kudu in a while. I think the last time I got one was after they got true Rex. Pretty sick, dude. You think I'll start a moose great one grind soon? Uh, probably not anytime soon, Nate. We're doing whitetail until the new update, and then whenever the new update drops, we're going to be hunting fallow deer. And then after we get the amount of fallow deer that we want, we're going to switch over to bears again. So it's going to be a while before we go back to moose. And that's primarily just because my moose are kind of broken. Like, uh, none of my moose behave on Rev or Medved. Their respawns just seemingly disappear. I 
I mean, if my moose were respawning like normal, I'd probably still be grinding them. Nice, Daniel. That's awesome. That is awesome, dude. Love to see it. Do you think you will do a savanna grind anytime? Um, probably not anytime soon. Actually, no, we will. We will do one soon because Springbok are getting true racks, which means I need to go get a true racks diamond Springbok, which is going to be honestly a pretty tough task. Considering they don't have drink zones, that's going to be rough. It's going to be rough, but we'll probably just hunt around in multiplayer until we find a diamond one. How many white tail zones are there? Uh, between 65 and 75 for most people, but it will vary a little bit from one person to another, uh, depending on a lot of factors. Because like uh, when you first start, you're going to have less zones than you will like a couple thousand kills later. Because as you hunt your map, more zones get created. You'll see some respawns not show up at the zone you shot them in. You'll see some herds of like 10 dwindling down to herds of 5. And then usually the deer that didn't come back will make new zones. That's a 2? Holy. Why are you nervous, bro? Why are you nervous? He apparently is deaf too. Ooh, wipe out. Yeah, it has Snakehead. It's nice to see them adding some more in. It, what's crazy to me is that we're getting three new true wrecks. Like, that's just crazy. Like the fact that I didn't see that buck. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, like three new true wrecks in one update. Plus a bunch of new animals that have true wrecks on the new map. Like, that's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. I am excited. Super excited for this next update. There's going to be so much to look for. This update might be the first one in a while that keeps uh, everybody's interest for like more than two months. It, it seems like it's going to be insane. You know how many fallow drink zones there are? Nope, I have never grinded fallow really, so... I did like a very short grind for fallow deer after Tiabaro released, but that was it. I didn't really keep track of zone count back then. Did I miss him? Did I somehow miss that shot? Wait, I'm confused. How did I miss the first shot? Was it... Is it further than I thought? Did I just have too much bullet drop? I I guess it was like 300. No. Oh, that makes sense. I thought that was closer. I guess it's because I'm used to shooting them like right here. Which is definitely way closer than this is. I was so confused. I was like... How did I miss that? <laughs> That makes more sense. All right, I got to go get some more water, guys. I'll be back in like probably two minutes.
All right, we're back. I am back. Well, hello there, little fellers. Well, it wasn't a long drink, Derby. It was me filling up my giant water jug. I wasn't getting a drink. I was literally filling up my water jug. <laughs> what is the best place for coyotes? I like Rancho the best. I think Rancho is pretty good for coyotes. Um, I have no clue, Jake, to be honest. I don't even know how to like measure that. There we go. There's one little buck. Um, I don't play on Xbox, uh, mate. I don't play on, uh, Xbox. I just play PC. I'm sure Australia will probably be good, Maddie. I'm sure it'll be good. I mean, Jaxie said in the last stream that Australia's been in the works for a long time, so... I would imagine they're probably trying to make it perfect. Reset the time. Let's see what we get. I don't see a white-tailed great one. That's that's not it. Had to tie that rhyme in somehow. Didn't work. Ooh. You're quite nice. You are quite nice, sir. Okay, both does are there. Get him to move. There's that guy. Honestly, we're probably gonna have to get that guy next time. That one's just giving us a better shot. We'll get the big boy three next run. Feels bad. Uh, you don't gotta spam, uh, Levi. You don't gotta spam, man. That is a lot of repeating in a short amount of time, I see. No, I don't need to kill more moose, KG. And please don't spam, bro. I, I literally was just talking about how I don't want spam. That is a lot of spam. Spamming the same message over and over. 2.0. You're spamming the same message over and over. Chill. You didn't even give me like a half second to look at the first one before you sent like three more. Chill. And no, I'm not going to hunt moose for money. I mean, I don't need money. I'm at like 15 million. I'm not sure. Dynamic. Probably dealing with like life stuff. I I'm not gonna pause on killing white tailed deer just because you have to be right back, uh, KG. That's not how things work, man. I can't just like stop doing what I'm doing because you have to go AFK. Really odd request today. Really odd requests for sure. Oh, no worries, Johnny. No worries. Alright, there's our twos. Is Yukon good for the moose grind? Ah, uh, it's okay. It's definitely not the best, but it's also not the worst. 
it's kind of middle of the road. Uh, no clue, Derby. No clue. Is, oh, I already responded to that. Is it important for the respawns to pick up the deer? It definitely seems to help. And, uh, Jaxy Beard hinted in one of the recent streams that if you don't pick up your kills, it, it may uh, have adverse effects on your Great One grind. He didn't specify, but he did add that the community has kind of noticed that. And the thing the community has been talking about is that it seems that people that don't pick up their kills don't get great ones. And if they do, it's like 20,000 kills to get one. Which uh, leads me to believe that that was probably Jaxie's way of like confirming without confirming that you got to pick up your kills to get a great one. What the? They all came back as ones! I mean, what do we do? Do we like... Leave them for a bit? I Screw it! Let's leave them for a bit. Maybe we should find a new zone. That's crazy. Just out of nowhere, that entire zone turned to ones. Imagine there's a great one on the map, and it's... Ramping all the scores down. That'd be crazy. That'd be a nice little surprise, though. Yeah, maybe, James. That's kind of what I'm thinking. We're getting, we're getting a lot of ones, so... Maybe there's something larger than a one on the map. One, two, three. Oh, there's both of them. We have both of my shootable ones are right there. Just fi fire at both of them. Let's see if that worked out. Great one on the map, maybe. Definitely some weird stuff going on with our uh, respawns, so it's possible. Huh. Well, the first one died, and then I'm pretty sure that one just died. I guess we killed them both? What's the craziest diamond I've ever shot? Ah, uh, craziest diamond I've ever shot would have been probably the diamond melanistic moose. That's probably the craziest diamond I've ever killed. What do you guys think? Should we look for a new zone? I'm thinking maybe. Thinking maybe. Jeez, this guy ran a long ways. Holy. How do you join the member Discord channels? Uh, member Discord channels. The only way to get them to show up is to link your Discord to YouTube. So go into your Discord settings and uh, go to the connections tab. And then you can connect YouTube to Discord there. And then it will automatically assign roles 
for like any memberships you have. It'll assign the roles that are linked to that so you can access the channels. Yeah, that'd be crazy, Milan. That'd be crazy. Have I ever found a Mallard Duck zone indicator? Yes, they have zones. They do indeed. Boom! Dropped both of them. I usually stream for like four hours or more, Peter. We've only been streaming for an hour 44. I'll be going for quite a while. What happened to my zone if I have if I had bucks but now I only have does? Uh, they probably respawned somewhere else or just haven't respawned yet. That's uh, really the only options you have there. Why don't some animals drink? Um, I don't know why for a couple of them, but for most of them, it's because either they don't need to drink in real life. Like uh, something like the Springbok. As far as I know, they get all of their water from the vegetation. Something like birds and stuff, they get a lot of their water from like the dew on leaves and things. Yeah, it's unfortunate, Milan. But yeah, it does happen. It's really rare on consoles, but there is cheaters on console. The thing is, like, you actually have to know how to, like... The people that cheat on console for Call of the Wild are people that are literally modding the system. They're modding their console. And so that's, that, that's why it's really rare. It takes a lot of know-how to do something like that. And so not a lot of people do it, thankfully. All right, since these turned all ones, let's just, uh, let's grab one of these tents. Are piebald green teal rare or are they like the mallards? Uh, they are rare. Yes, they are rare. Dudley, thank you for the membership, dude. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, the extra discord channels, the scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wait, six. Six deer. Are you kidding me? Now they respawn? Oh man. I'm I'm actually not going to be able to remove these tents. What level was I when I got my first diamond? I was level 51. Anyways, to encourage rare fur types? Nope. Rares are the one thing in the game that's 100% random and nobody knows how they work. All right, time to reset the time because they are all traveling. Yeah, I don't know, Milan. There's people that have managed to do it for Call of the Wild. Nobody knows how, really. Except the people that have done it. Five? Ah, gosh, they're being stubborn. I just need to see how many are in this zone. That's all I need to see. Does one actually make a vid request? Um, what do you mean, Gunslinger? Like, uh, requesting videos for me to do, or what? Can you post, uh, or can you show us and post on how you will set up your fallow deer great one grind? Um, I'm not going to till I actually set the grind up because I, I don't like doing things before I actually get a chance to be hands-on with it. And I'm not going to set up a fallow great one grind um, before the great one fallow is actually here because it, to me that would just be a waste of time because it would get all reset and then I'd have zones in different places than before so I'd have to set up again. So I'm going to wait till after it releases to uh, set the grind up. 
gotta be like a uh, efficient with my time for that. Oh, for the like uh, for the th for the tier three membership, uh, you have to send me a DM in Discord to make the request. I usually just do everything through Discord because it's easiest for me to like uh, compile all of it there to get all the info in one place. Hey Huntress, how's it going? Oh, have to go. Phone is. Playing a big time. Bye. All right, later. Thank you for dropping in, Huntress. Hope you're doing good. Hope you've been doing good. I hope you've been having fun. Have I had any rares today? Um, no, we have not. Do piebald score at the top or bottom of their estimate? It depends on the species. For some species, it's bottom. For others, it's top. Like for white tail, it's always top of the estimate. Lucas, thank you for the super chat, dude. Can we maybe do a video one day? Um, the thing is, if I do a video, right? If I were to do a video with you, I'd have probably like 50, 60, 70 other people asking me if I would do a video with them. Usually for collaborations, I have to like... I have to get to know somebody before I'll collab with them, you know? I usually only collaborate with creators that I've had a chance to get to know. So, unfortunately, I can't really do that, man. But I appreciate the super chat. Let's find some more zones. There's got to be a couple we're missing still. Uh, now that that one zone has turned to all ones, I definitely think we can try to add a new zone. And the thing is, like, that zone wouldn't be going to ones that easily if there was... If we had all of our twos in our zones. Like, we're definitely missing a few of these twos. So I think it's time we get out and search for them. And this is kind of like the area I would expect them to be in. Like this area is the one that I've probably searched the least thoroughly. Definitely could be some weirdness going on. Definitely could be missing a couple zones. Who all have I collabed with? Um, Kill Clinton, Lady Legend, Flinter. Uh, Brobra. Uh, one video with Dee Dee. Obviously, uh, my wife. And, uh, Caitlyn as well. I think that's it. I haven't done a lot of collabs. Yeah, we got a zone there. Now, I don't think zones can be on this side of the river, but we'll check just in case. Because I suppose it's still possible. Definitely no zone here. Um, I don't even know what my best collaboration would be. I mean, I'm not really going to pick, like, a favorite collaboration, because that's kind of like picking a favorite kid, you know? It's like, I've collabed with a lot of creators. I can't really pick a favorite, or else the other ones will get offended, you know? Hey, CLP, how's it going? Uh, if he wanted to, La La Land. Well, my wife doesn't really do content creation, Brendan, so she's not a content creator. She just has done, like, a couple videos before. But she doesn't actually, like, do content creation as, like, a full-time thing. So she's not really a content creator. I consider content creator to be, like, somebody who posts, like, at least a few times a week. And is, or somebody who is like, uh, somebody like some of the bigger creators that maybe post a video once a month, but they get like millions of views on it. Like, obviously that's a content creator too.
Nice, Zimmy. That's awesome. What was great one number 36? Great one number 36 was a beautiful big rack white tail yesterday. Got a giant big rack white tail. Last I checked the zone, it had no shootable bucks. Besides, like, maybe a fence rack two. Yeah, like, there's that fence rack two right there. But, like, the fence rack two, we're gonna leave. It's a bunch of ones and a fence rack two. Nothing new has popped up there, it looks like. Question is, has anything else popped up around here? Uh, we got this little lake here. These tiny little lakes can all have them. Uh, nothing it looks like, thankfully. That's good. Hey, Redux, how's it going, man? Uh, lots of diamonds. Lots and lots of diamonds, and we just randomly had one of our zones go all level ones out of nowhere. Uh, it was this one up here. This zone went from having, like, three level twos to three level ones in a matter of, like, two runs. So, we're trying to find a new zone to add to the grind. Because there's no way that we got that many ones. Unless we were missing a few zones. Like, we're really far into this grind at this point. We're shooting maybe, we have maybe like 20 level 2s in our main zones. So there's no way that if we only had 20 level 2s that we'd be getting 1s to pop up that fast. We gotta be missing a couple zones. So I've decided to go through and check. Because I got a feeling we're probably missing some. How many zones do I travel between? Uh, roughly 10. What's my favorite animal to hunt? I like the whitetail hunting the best. Whitetail have been my favorite for quite a while. They're just enjoyable. Hey Nino, how's it going? Yeah, I'm super excited as well. Very excited to see what they do with it. Uh, you can start grinding the second you find your zo your first zone, Newt. There's no, like, minimum number of zones found to start grinding. You can start grinding the second you find one. In fact, I would recommend that. I would recommend grinding as quickly as you can. That way you're working on getting a lot of those zones uh, shot down. If you're doing herd management, if you're not doing herd management, like, you're working towards a great one if you're shooting stuff. So, the longer you wait... The uh, less likely you'll get it quickly, right? Because you've spent time finding zones when you could have been finding and shooting. So I'd say start shooting now. I probably explained that horribly, but uh, hopefully it was understandable. Nice, Johnny. Sounds like you're finding. Uh, sounds like you're finding some of your zones. What loadout do I recommend for Yukon? Uh, 300 Magnum, 308, 243, 22. Uh, to be honest, that's my loadout for like every map. And then whatever mix of collars and things that you want to bring along with that. Whatever scope you like. Hey Corn Snake, how's it going? Uh, they're not in this zone. This is normally a zone where we've got deer. Huh. That makes me wonder, did I pass a few zones that had stuff in them, but it just wasn't showing? I believe it's because they modeled the 338 off of the 338 Win Mag Redux. As far as I know, I think it's based on 338 Win Mag, which uh, does have lower energy than 300 Magnum. As far as I know, at least. Yeah, 
Anything over here? Nice corn snake, that's awesome. Hope you're enjoying. Oh man, nothing around here. Keep on moving. Hey Troy, how's it going, dude? What's my favorite restaurant? Uh, if we're talking fast food, Five Guys is my favorite. Such amazing burgers. Love them. Hello, Dose. How you doing? So I think what we're going to do, out, after I get pummeled by a deer, is we're, gonna, we're just going to run up the side of the river like this. There's got to be a zone that I've missed. Uh, this is an area that I haven't checked super thoroughly as of recent. 100% could be some that I'm missing here. I know there's a zone there, but they're all shot down. But like, can Whitetail be through this little stretch? I think they can. I'm 99% sure I've got zones in this area in my no DLC playthrough. See, this is the boring part of the grind that normally I do off camera. But, you know, right now we, we had a zone just disappear out of nowhere. So we kind of got to find a zone to replace it. And I'm sure there's got to be a zone we've missed. If we're still getting level ones like that, we've definitely missed a zone. At least one. Probably two. Uh, the other possibility is we could have a missing zone in Balmont. Because I think one of the zones that I accidentally deleted a while back, I don't think I ever found where it went. There's definitely a couple options there on where it could be. Nice, Redux. Hopefully, uh, have some good luck and have some fun with it leading up to the release. Yes, this is Leighton Lakes. No great ones yet, Cowboy. Uh, right now, we're trying to find a new zone to add to our grind because one of our zones just randomly went to all level ones. Like, just out of nowhere, we got uh, one of our longtime zones to just be all level ones. And I figured, might as well try to find a new zone and leave that one as all ones. Because there's a good chance that if it just all of a sudden turned into level ones, we're probably missing at least one zone. Because there's no way we'd get that many ones in one run if I had all of the zones found and had shot down everything but our main. That makes me think we definitely missed something. Yes, Layton is the free map. That is where we're grinding. Like there's these little side lakes where it's it's like they, they could be here. There could be a herd that just randomly got tossed into one of these little side lakes. Because there's so many of them, it's really difficult to check them all. And some of these I haven't checked recently, so... If we get one more member, it would be 11-11. Holy, that's insane, dude. I didn't even notice that. That's wild. Just start a Red Deer grind still setting up. Uh, anything I should know? Um, Red Deer pretty cookie cutter. It's just find all the zones and start grinding. It's the same thing as with any grind. Top half of the map is where the majority of the zones will be, so... If you're still looking for zones, that's a good area to check. Alright, I think we're gonna deploy a new strategy. You guys ready for this? 
This is a strategy that I've used before that actually works out pretty good. Once the time's been going for a little bit, the deer have probably had time to get to their zones. And at that point, you can just drive an ATV through all the potential zone areas and then stop whenever you see tracks and see if it's a new zone. So we're going to drive around here, check for tracks. And if we find any, we'll see if it's a new zone. Uh, nothing around there. We got a lake over here. They could literally be at any of this water. What's the best gun for whitetail grinding besides the AR? Uh, the M1's really good. 303 is solid. Uh-oh. Where this zone from, eh? Where's this zone from? Uh-oh. I mean, it might be just be this herd up here, but it could be a new zone. Okay, it's going over there. That is an old zone. That is a zone that I've seen. Ah, uh, let's cross over and check these lakes over here. Nice, tragic, nice. Yeah, there's a lot of them in Belmont. Or oh, Belmont Lake. Oh, I know which one. Is it over here? Is this the area you're talking about? I know they can be here. Honestly, I haven't checked that lake in ages. I might need to. I might need to go there. And check her out. It is that little lake? Okay, yeah, I'll have to check there. Because I know that is a spot they can be, but I've never seen any there. Okay, we got tracks going over here. Okay, that's from running. This is a lake that had them on my no DLC playthrough. Right here. There was a zone right over here, so... It is likely there could be one. We'll have to see, though. All right, nothing there. Uh, there can be zones throughout this little section as well. Where am I headed? Ah, oh, we're just checking for zones. We're just looking for the, uh, oh, are you kidding me? Oh, pff. I thought that was a zone. It's a freaking rabbit track. <laughs> thought that was a zone for a second. I don't know why it just looked like there was more than one track there. Looked like there was a whole lot more than that. I've seen them here too before. On the no DLC playthrough. Could be a potential spot that we could have some. Cracks up there, but that's not really a sign of anything. That's the same one that we've been chasing around, I think. We still have this zone over here with Whitetail. There's a couple zones over here, actually. But there's another lake closer. And there's also a little lake over here. I know, right? Johnny, I'm doing great. <laughs> doing wonderful. Nothing there. Oh, those deer are out of here. <laughs> no new zone there. Pretty sure this is old tracks. Uh, this little lake could have one, I guess. Anything here? Uh, there's going to be tracks because there's zones near. Question is, is there need zone tracks here? No. 
That means this is probably from over here at this lake. Yeah, there's so many zones in this area. I don't know if we're ever going to find a new one here. Yeah, we'll probably worry about this later. I don't think we're going to find anything right now. I'm going to have to do like a thorough sweep of this. Probably off stream. Otherwise, it's just going to be boring. Uh, let's get the run started. Should probably main menu first. Nice, Ray. That's awesome. Hey, Austin. Oh, we were just trying to find new zones. You know, I guess another thing that could have happened maybe is it's possible that some of my old zones, maybe I've just forgot to shoot them down to ones again. That's another possibility. Maybe I just forgot to shoot a couple of the zones down. Nice, Riley. That's awesome. Love to see you, man. Two deer right there. They're, oh, I forgot we have the big three here. So there's three deer here. Holy, I forgot about that giant. I forgot that we had spotted him a couple uh couple runs ago. You know, honestly, I think without that zone we'll still have enough shootables. I think we will. I mean, that's just four at this lake right here. And then we got two at the next lake. We've got a couple at the next lake. And then two more, then two more, two more, and two more. So it should be plenty. We just got to make sure we kill all of them every run. Bottom coast has some. Yeah, I've been there. I have been to the bottom coast. How big will you be? 272. That's a max weight monster. Boom. Big old dime. Love to see it, dude. Love to see it. I think it's the three that did to respawns. No, one level three wouldn't do that. Not to that extent. Not this far into herd management, at least. It would take, like, ten of those. Or, like, a big rack great one and a few other diamonds to really, like, drive up the HM and make more one spawn. Thank you, Derby. I appreciate that. If there's two does and two bucks in your zones, do you or can you shoot the bucks or will it delete the zone? The only thing that deletes a zone is if you leave only one animal. If you only leave one animal or if you shoot all the animals, that's what turns it into a uh, deleted zone or a solo doe zone. If it's two bucks and two does, shoot both the bucks. Rule of thumb is just leave at least one deer per herd. And try not to shoot does. What scope am I using? I'm using the Argus scope. The good old Argus. I kind of go back and forth between both scopes, though. They're both pretty good for different things. Yeah, that's what I said, Cooper. I said, uh, don't shoot it down to one. Uh, we're gonna need to reset the time again. Nothing there. 
How rare is a leucistic for pronghorn? That's really rare. That is really rare. Does anyone know the best gun for moose hunting? Yes, the 300 Magnum will be the best option. Thinking we shoot that one. Thinking we shoot it. I don't know, though. I don't even know what to do at this point. It, it, it threw me off having this zone turn to ones, man. It threw me off. I'm not gonna lie. It threw me off. <laughs> I guess we could blast this one. Like, I want to be able to make sure we're killing at least something at this zone every time. How many kills now? 242. Uh, no, there isn't a Mel at that zone. It's not a Mela. It's one of the darker browns. Nice two big boys over here. Great one spawning now. I hope so. That'd be crazy to get a quick uh, sub two or sub three hundred kill. Great one. That'd be awesome. What has been my favorite great one grind? This one right here, the whitetail grind. I love the whitetail grind. It's easily the most fun for me. I just really enjoy it. Really, really enjoy it. Got all whitetail fur but the Mela. Ooh, unfortunate new... You'll get it eventually, man. If you keep playing, it's bound to happen eventually. It's bound to happen eventually, dude. How rare is an Eclipse Goldeneye? Incredibly rare. They are one of the more rare rares for Waterfowl. If you get one of those, that is a really insane achievement. No great ones today, JD. We've been doing decent, though, on kill counts uh, during the time that we've been hunting. We took a little bit of a break to try and look for zones, but didn't really find anything, so... Now we're back to blasting. That rare is rarer than most rares? Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. Eclipse Golden Eyes are insane. Any tips for duck hunting and grinding? Uh, yes. Use the decoys and the blinds. And try to set up in hotspots. Rev on Thule has some insane hotspots, like in the southern part of the map. Honestly, the majority of Rev on Thule is really good. Dude, this zone is being stubborn. First they're in the brush, and now they're not showing up. Come on. Yes, Jaden. I know pretty much any time somebody gets something. I was shooting a great one the same time that he got that, so I had a lot of people tell me. As I'm sure he probably had a lot of people tell him about the great one as well. Pretty much any time that you're um, a content creator in the Call of the Wild community, at least, you know about everything that somebody does. Uh, yeah, Austin, I did. I got a great one yesterday. It was a big rack great one. 1,762 kills to get that one. It was a, uh, a pretty, a pretty big, uh, big male. Oddly enough, though, it was one of our lowest scoring big racks that we've had. That's all multiplayer, Swisserton. It happens on PC, too. Multiplayer is just borked for Call of the Wild. Because it's peer-to-peer, -peer, it relies heavily on the connection of all the players in the session. All it takes is one person with bad connection, and it ruins the whole server for everybody. 
So unfortunately, multiplayer is not very stable in Call of the Wild. I wish it was better. In fact, it used to be better. I don't know what happened, but it used to be more reliable. Hotspots on Revon Tuli. Um, I think I've got a map. Or not a map. I think I've got a video for that. I would just type in uh, Scarecrow Hotspots Revon Tuli. I can't really think of them off the top of my head. Because I'm uh, in the great one grinding zone at the moment. Uh, it's, it's pretty easy, Diamond. Just don't reply. <laughs> just don't reply. It's as simple as that. Don't reply and... I mean, I would tell your parents. I would probably tell your parents. <laughs> have I got a diamond raccoon dog? I messed one up. So technically I do have one, but I screwed it up so it shows gold. Two thirty-six, not bad. Yeah, I think we're still getting I think we're still getting a good enough amount of deer per run that losing that zone is not going to be too big of a deal. To be honest, like, we'll get more diamonds since a bunch of ones just showed up out of nowhere. Probably a bot. Yeah, probably. How many diamonds have I messed up? I couldn't even begin to, like, guess how many I've messed up. Probably a lot. Especially in multiplayer. I take risky shots in multiplayer because of how finicky it can be. In multiplayer, you never know if you're going to get disconnected. You never know if a cheater is going to speed hack up and steal your trophies. Like, you never know what's going to happen in multi. So I've messed up a, a decent amount of trophies in multiplayer. Just out of sheer panic. Like, oh gosh, I got to shoot this. That's probably not, not an actual thing than Derby. I would imagine that's a scam. That that sounds like a scam. Uh, no bucks? Okay. Interesting. No bucks there. Oh, there's the other deer. Of course I did, Swisserton. Like I said, I hear about everything. You know, most of the time, I probably have heard about a trophy, like, before anybody else. There's been quite a few times where somebody like Lady Legend or something has got something to spawn, and then before they even go live, they'll, like, post the image. So I've seen... I've seen a lot of, uh... A lot of stuff before it's even known that they've got it. Just like I share throughout the content creator community uh, some of the pictures of like great ones and super rares when I get them before I even post the video. So usually if you want to know if I've heard of somebody's like super rare or great one, the answer is usually yes. I've probably heard of it. Any tips for a rare lion grind? Uh, yes, hunt the lake that is to the left of the starting outpost. To be honest, you only need to hunt that lake. They, for some reason, just consistently respawn there no matter how much pressure you get. It's it's kind of OP. That's how I was grinding for lions. Did you miss anything? Um, you missed a few diamonds uh, blazing, but that's about it. No rares, no great ones. Just some diamonds today. We're really hoping that we can uh, get something crazy, though. Something crazy would be nice. I thought all our things were different. To an extent, Robert. Not completely. There's going to be similarities between people's maps. There will be similarities, but your map will never be like 100% identical to somebody else's. 
But there's specific hot spots that seem to always get his own. How do you HM Rocky Mountain Elk Bulls? Um, I believe it's just leave the twos and below. I think it's leave the twos. I'm pretty sure that's all you do is leave twos and below. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, that's not good, Ebron. Stay safe, dude. That, that's rough. That is rough. What is the best animal to hunt in Revontuli Coast? Uh, whichever animal you like the most, uh, Jed. I, it's hard to answer that question because I don't know what you like. I don't know what types of animals you like hunting. But it's impossible for me to tell you what the best animal is on Rev. Because I don't know what you like. Be to get a great one this stream because I've never been on a stream when someone shot a great one. Yeah, hopefully we'll get one, man. Hopefully we'll get one. Just got host of a level nine hearse. Oof, that might have some good stuff. That might be a gold mine, man. That might be a gold mine. Stubborn zone. Oh, nice, Ebron. That's awesome. Is it weird when I've killed a diamond, but not anything above an eight point in real life? I, no, I wouldn't say that's weird. I mean, it's a video game, so it's going to be different. There we go. Two bucks down. 260 kills into the grind. Approaching 200 kills on the day. We would have had more, but we took a little bit of a break to search for zones. 227. Nice, Ebron, nice. When did I spawn number 36? It was yesterday, like three and a half hours into the stream. Absolute monstrous big rack whitetail. Hey Mac, how's it going? Oh nice Mitchell, that's crazy. That is a big male. That is a big one for sure. You 27. How many kills now? Uh, at this point, 261. 261 in total for this grind. I think like 170 of those are from today. Been doing any fishing this year? Not really, Redux. I'd like to get into some fishing soon, but haven't had the time. I probably won't really get to do any fishing until after the hype from Australia dies down. No, the people left the stream yesterday, Derby, because I took a break. I had took a break and then it was like a 20 minute break to go eat. And then I came back and we got the great one like 20 or 30 minutes after that. So we just hadn't had enough time for everybody to get back in the stream when we found it. Two more bucks. Nice. Good to see respawns being 
pretty reliable. Okay, they both died. Nice. No, they didn't, Derby. I was watching it. I watched the stream numbers the whole time. When I uh, got the great one to spawn, we gained like a hundred. We had about 180 when I got back yesterday. Um, over the course of the next few minutes leading up to finding it, uh, another 50 joined. And then it skyrocketed like another 100 when we got the great one in front of us. Or when we started stalking it because I put out the note if in Discord. But at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal regardless. I'm not too focused on it. You got another great one? Yes, yesterday we got a great one. Yesterday we got another great one. Do you think uh, you'll get him soon? Maybe, Alex. Uh, usually it's one to two thousand for Whitetail. How do you become a member? So you can become a member through that link that's in the chat right now, or by clicking the join button. Or by going to the description of the stream and clicking the link there. And then it'll guide you through the rest. Oh, rip JR, yeah. I put out the note if yesterday, so if you have notifications turned on on Discord, you'll end up seeing those. If not, then they probably won't pop up. I think it's time we kill the one in this zone. Because those ones popped up in that other zone, I think we'll get rid of these. How do I know my zones work for the whitetail? Uh, wh what do you mean by how do you know they work? You're gonna have to specify a little bit. I'm not quite sure what that means. How do you know that your zones work? I mean, they should work. They should work no matter what. Are you talking about like the respawns or what? Any chance that we get cross-platform multiplayer? I don't believe so, Brayden. I'm pretty sure they said that they couldn't really do it. I think a lot of that has to do with the age of the game and the fact that it was designed without... Um, without cross-play. And I would imagine their graphics engine probably just isn't built for it. Because if they had no intentions of doing cross-platform play when they made the game, it's kind of a toss-up as to whether or not it's going to be implementable at a later date. Especially since they use their own, like, custom graphics engine. They don't use, like, Unity or Unreal or anything. They use the Avalanche Apex engine, so... I imagine there's more complications with that. Unfortunately. Hey, there we go. Big males. Kaden, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing. Thank you once again. Hope the next game will have cross progression. Don't really care as much about cross play, but I would love cross progression. Yeah, cross progression is something I see requested a lot. So that people can like swap platforms and still keep all of their uh, save data. That would be nice. There we go. There's a dime. There we go. Good buck. Hey, Daniel, how's it going? Oh, you know me. Just blasting whitetail deer. As always. Pushing for that next great one. How's the hunting going? It's going pretty good. It's going pretty good, man. We've had a solid, solid day of grinding. To 12. 
Um, Caden, thank you for the super chat again. Uh, is the next EW stream today been itching for some info? No, today is a holiday in Sweden, so there was no, um, there was no stream today. Unfortunately. Thank you for the, uh, super chat, though. Much appreciated. Next week we will know? Yes, next week we will know. Ah, there's another deer. Yeah, it's the one thing about this zone that I'm not a huge fan of. Like, if I were to get a, jo or a, a zone to uh, turn to ones, I'd hope it would be this one. But instead it was uh, the other zone. <laughs> oh, it's unfortunate, man. I don't like hunting the zone that much. Like if they if they would always be out of that little dip, then it would be fine, but they're always down in the dip in the water. Unfortunate. Oh, nice Cooper, nice. Can you do a setup video or post a list to Discord? Uh setup video for what? Like uh what in particular? Because uh, everything's going to need different setup tips. Are need zones important for respawns or can we just wipe them and they'll respawns will still happen? They will still uh, happen, yes. Respawns will happen no matter what you do. Um, need zones are just like a, a marked place on the map where you'll know where to go to find them at that time of day, you know? But it's not required for respawns. In fact, those, even if you haven't discovered the need zone, that herd is still there. At least two bucks here. Yep, just two. Is a 334 diamond muley big? Yeah, that's pretty big, goat. That is pretty big. I'd say anything above 330 is pretty decent sized for the muleys. And then if you get a 340 plus, that's a monster. How many in-game days does it take for respawns? Nobody really knows. Most species, it seems to be pretty instant. I've had like respawns from red deer run up on me while I'm claiming them. So we don't really know the exact answer to that. But we know it seems to be pretty quick. Except for like specific circumstances. But most of the time it seems pretty quick. I mean there's... Otherwise I wouldn't be able to go through an entire run in like 10 minutes. Go to the main menu, come back and they're already respawned. Like they have to happen pretty instantaneously. My guess is the second you pick up an animal, it probably respawns. Or maybe when you've killed a percentage of the population of that animal. Because I've noticed that animals where there's less of them, like bears, they seem to respawn more instantaneously than something like whitetail deer. With whitetail, if I like shoot five whitetail deer, I'm probably not going to get the respawns until I shoot like five or ten more. At least that's what I've noticed. We'll get that three next run. What DLC would I suggest for a new player? Uh, Modern Rifles Weapon Pack, the Tripod DLC, Tense DLC if you're on PC, uh, Hunter Power Pack, Sasiki Safari Trophy Lodge. Like, there's a lot that I would recommend. That's the thing about Call of the Wild. There's actually a lot of DLCs that are very, very useful. So there's a lot I suggest. How long does it usually take for you to set up a whitetail grind? A long time, Gavin. To be honest, I don't even know the exact answer to that because it took me like a hundred hours to get herd management set up and find the majority of my zones and kind of figure out what zones I wanted to make my main ones. But then, like, I've had to swap zones I'm grinding, you know, tons of times throughout the grind. So... Does, is, is the setup process still going at that point? 
Like, I don't know how to gauge it. I don't know how to gauge that. Uh, you got gifted a membership, goat. You got gifted a membership. That is why your name is green. There we go. How do you get a diamond? You get diamonds by just shooting the animals until they respawn as a diamond. What you can do is if you want to get them a little bit faster, you can just prioritize the biggest animals in the herds. Another way is to just get lucky in multiplayer. I recommend checking out some of the guides I have on the channel. They are able to go more in depth than I can on the spot in a stream, but um, I've got quite a few guides that talk about how to get diamonds faster. And like the best ways to target diamonds. Love the flop physics in this game. Oh yeah, the ragdolls are awesome. The ragdolls are amazing. Love them. Thank you, Gavin. I'm glad that you like them, dude. When I do a lion grind, I can shoot all males? Uh, if you want to, yes. The only reason that you wouldn't shoot some males is if you want to do herd management. Otherwise, yes, shoot all of them. You can even shoot the females with lions because they're all solo animals, so they affect things differently than whitetail. Or they react differently than whitetail when you shoot the females. Who are your guides? And, and no, it's not who is my guides. I make... Uh, guide videos on the channel for uh, specific topics sometimes. The uh, the guides playlist has a ton of different guides for different things like herd management and multiplayer hopping and all, all that type of stuff. In fact, uh, there we go. It should pop up in chat. There it is, the guides playlist. Yeah, I am the guide, essentially. <laughs> I am guiding you guys to... Better trophies, hopefully, you know? Or doing my best to, at least. He moved! Why is he walking in? <laughs> oh, man, of course, when they finally are in a spot where I can see them, he goes into the brush farther. You silly deer. You know what? I'm just gonna take him. Thank you for giving me a shot, sir. Thank you for your cooperation. That brings us to 280 kills on the day. Or 280 kills in total on this grind, I mean. I think it's like 190 on the day, roughly. Like 190. Did you do a gaming setup video or post your PC and mic and stuff in your Discord? Uh, maybe at some point, Brayden. I've got a parts list for my PC as a command if you're looking for, like, the specs of the PC. Hey, that's a three. Let's go! Whoa, that's a wonk! That guy's wonky! That's a wonky looking three. I like that. That's actually really cool. Please be a diamond. I actually really want this thing to make it. That's a cool one. It made it. Look at that. That's a cool deer. I love wonky diamonds like... There's some of the coolest diamonds to get. Like, look how, look how squished this side is. Oh my gosh. The wonk is real. I'm taxing that, I think. That, that's taxable, I would say. Oh yeah. 
You love to see it. Uh, did I add a diamond to the diamond counter? I don't know if I did. For some reason, I feel like I didn't. Nice, Cooper. No, I didn't. Okay. Boom. There we go. Another diamond on the diamond counter. Do I hunt in real life? I do, but I haven't in years. What level should you leave for an HM line grind? I'm not super familiar with what to do for HM lions. I would imagine leave like sixes and below maybe, or maybe fives and below. I think fives and below probably. Um, I'm sure other people in chat would probably know more. As I was grinding lions during the time where I wasn't doing HM. So we ended up hunting just all of them. Fives and below? Okay, so yeah, leave fives and below. How do you find a herd? Uh, you just gotta walk around till you find their zone. The way that I do it is I set it to their drink time. Uh, for Whitetail, set it to 8 a.m. And then check all of the water on the left side of the map. 99% of the time, zones are going to be slightly different from one person to another. So you have to get out and search all of the different places to try and find where yours are. But that's what I do. I just set it to their time, search all the water. That's, of course, like the the shortened variation of the explanation. The shortened variation of the explanation, I tell you. Well, we killed one. That's good enough. That is a lot of kills today. A lot of kills. 190 exactly now. 190 exactly. Would have been more, but we... Took a little bit of time to look for zones. Oh, hey, you're a buck, too. That I missed. <laughs> Rest in pieces. What is a grind? It's what we're doing right now. A grind is just like when you're targeting one species and you're just repeatedly shooting hundreds of them. To try and get a specific trophy, like a diamond, a rare, a great one, a super rare. That's what a grind is. So that's what we're doing at the moment. We are currently in the process of doing a whitetail grind. Two thirty-five, not too bad. That's a solid deer. Fastest way to get a great one? Just shoot every single male that you find. Great ones are not affected by herd management, so... It, truly, the fastest way to get a great one would be to just... Find however... I guess, like, just the fastest way to shoot lots of them in an hour. Getting the most kills you possibly can in the shortest amount of time is... What's gonna get you your great one the quickest. How many years have I been playing the game? I've been playing it since it released back in 2017. In fact, I actually got to be a part of the beta in December of 2016. Do you have zones on the Hidden Lake? I do, yes. I think I have two zones there and they're all like females and ones at this point. Actually, there might be a two there now that I think of it. I might have left a two there. We'll have to visit it at some point and see. Okay, the zone is staying once. It's not getting extra twos. That's a two there. Honestly, I got a feeling that with this grind, I'm probably going to get impatient and just end up shooting these ones that spawned here. Just because I like that zone. 
And like, if I see my kill counts declining per hour, I'm probably just going to get impatient and shoot them. <laughs> Even though it'd probably be smarter to try and find a zone that has twos in it and just shoot those. That is what it is. Like, I want to manage my map as heavily as I can to really get some insane chances of a super rare. And a super rare that's actually a big rack or something crazy like that. So that's one of my main goals is I want to get a big rack super rare. And the more we manage this map, the more chances I get a big rack super rare. I don't really play too many racing games, uh, Brachia. I don't really play too many racing games. I play a lot of first-person shooters and hunting games and fishing games. Not a lot of racing ones, though. I've played a few here and there in the past, but... The last time I played an F1 game was on the PlayStation 2 back when I was, like, 14 years old. So you could say it's been a while. Definitely been a little bit. Uh, of course, uh, Hunter Bergquist. Of course I did. Touch at 35, not 36. We got the 36th one yesterday. Yesterday we got great one 36. No, we haven't killed a great one yet today, Jatron. We're hoping that we'll get one, though. We've been having solid luck recently with these great ones. They've been coming to, uh, or they've been respawning relatively consistently at, like, 1,500 to 2,000 kills. So, we got them pretty, uh, like, clockwork at the moment, except for that one, like, oddity grind that was 289. That was a nice little uh, change of pace, but the most most of them have been like fifteen hundred to two thousand, with our longest being like twenty two seventy one, and the shortest being that two eighty nine. Ah, I man, I don't like hunting this lake. I don't like it. They're so weird, so inconsistent. Ninety nine percent of the time, they're not out in the open. I cannot wait till we get this lake shot down to ones. I might end up stacking threes pretty soon. Just so I can shoot this lake down because I don't like hunting it anymore. It's just not fun if I got to reset the time like five times just to get them to come out into the open. And no, guys, uh, for those that uh, keep telling me to use collars, collars would not help here. We're too far away for collars. And it would take too long for them to walk out anyway. It would be the same as just resetting the time a few times. Collars would not help us out here. I actually don't think there's respawns. That might be why we can't see anything. I think there's just no new respawns. What kind of map am I on? This is Leighton Lake District. What rack was it? It was a big rack, Jimmy. A big rack scoring 630. Red Deer took 5.6k kills. Yeah, Red Deer can be rough. Should take the next great one with the crossbow from 50 yards. I'm going to be taking a great one with the crossbow as our 40th. And I'm going to be using Iron Sights, so it won't be from 50. Nothing there. We're going to go crazy for number 40. I did, Aiden. I did kill it on stream. Uh, the problem is it spawned at the same time that KC was killing his super rare Gems box, so a lot of people didn't even know that I got one. Because they were already over there. And so they didn't see that the uh, Great One spawned. I did kill it on stream. I killed it right after it spawned. I even uh, did a notification in the Discord.
Do you think the fallow great one will be easier than red deer? Oh, definitely. I think it will be. I feel like fallow great one's going to be one of the easiest to get great ones in the game. Just based on how fallow are. It's probably going to be really easy. Oof. Rough. Tough scene. Hate to see it. Feels bad. How many kills? 291 currently. You messed up a diamond? Ooh, that's unfortunate. Hate to see it, man. Hate to see it. I don't know if we got any bucks there. I've already killed a great one with the worst gun, uh, legendary bow. I've already killed one with the worst gun. How do you view the kill count? Uh, you can't view the kill count because you have to keep uh, track of it manually. The game doesn't track individual grind progress. So if you want to keep track of the grind progress, you have to keep track on like um, either in your head or with a clicker or a click counter app on your phone. It's the only way to keep track of a grind's kills. Uh, we got one in the other stream, uh, George. Yesterday's stream, we got one. Got my first great one last night. Super happy about that. Nice, our pricey. That's awesome. That is super awesome to hear. Getting your first great one is always a crazy feeling. It's always just like a huge, like, adrenaline rush and like a sigh of relief of like, oh my gosh, I have a great one in front of me. Because I remember at least during my first grind... I had the mindset of like, oh, I'm never going to get a great one. I want one, but I'm probably never going to find it. And then when it finally showed up, like it was just like, oh my gosh, no way. We've got a great one in front of us. It took a second for it to click in my head what I was even looking at at the time too. Like if you look at my uh, first ever great one video, like it took me a full like three or four seconds of looking at it to register in my head what it was. It was crazy. Yeah, exactly, Tragic. It's that satisfaction at the end of a long grind. Knowing that the trophy that you were chasing after is finally right in front of you. It's an amazing thing. Oof. Got him. Sorry, guys was talking to my wife for a second. All right. Back to picking up whitetail. 238, that's a solid deer. Ever since those ones showed up, we're getting a lot more like 230s and above. Love to see it. Maybe we'll get a super rare. At this point, there's a high chance that if a rare spawns, it's going to be a good one. Bro, you are one resilient buck, not gonna lie. At that at this point you deserve to live. Though you probably don't want to after all those shots I just put into you. That's one resilient buck. Or an ultra rare typical rack mellow, that'd be crazy. Please? Please EW? Two more bucks. At least we got both respawns there this time. Okay, we hit vitals. I was a little worried when it didn't uh, drop. Is a 230 red deer mela rare? Yes, that'd be very rare. Any giant melanistic is rare. If I got an ultra, would I stop doing whitetail? Um, as crazy as this sounds, no. 
Because if it wasn't a typical rack ultra rare, I still wouldn't have every white tail. I'd still be missing the typical rack, so I'd still want to go for more. My goal is to get the typical rack. If I get an ultra rare before then, we got to keep grinding. Because we still wouldn't have the typical rack. What's an ultra rare? An ultra rare is a great one with a rare fur type. It's the rarest thing possible in the game. I think if you found a great one, Mellow Whitetail, the whole community would be in here. Probably, uh, that would be like a monumental achievement if I managed to get an ultra rare. Because there is thousands and thousands of Whitetail Great Ones that have been shot over the last few years, and there's less than 15 ultra rares in existence that were confirmed to be legit. Less than 15. So yeah, if I were to get an ultra rare, it would be the greatest achievement I've ever had in Call of the Wild by far. It would by far be the most impressive thing ever. I'd be so happy to. It'd be so amazing, man. Is it possible to is it possible to find an albino great one? Yes, it is. It is possible to find albino great ones. Only one person has found one though. His name was LC. Or his name is LC. Uh, he's pretty active in the uh, the Hunter official Discord. He got a albino great one to spawn shortly after Rancho's release. But unfortunately, there was a bug during that time where fur types were swapped in the lodge from a previous update, right? Or that update had swapped a lot of fur types in the lodge. Whitetail were one of the species that had that happen. And so when EW fixed those broken furs in the lodge, it swapped the furs of every whitetail that had been shot during that time. So his albino turned to a common after that update. One of the most like sad stories in the Call of the Wild community is LC's ultra rare turning common after the update. And then anybody that had a common great one during that time, it ended up turning into a rare. So I have a piebald great one that was a common when I shot it. KC has an albino great one that was a common when he shot it. Um, I can't remember if Lady Legends ended up turning into a common or turning into a rare. Can't remember. I can't remember if Lady got her great one before or after that update. But yeah, anybody that got a great one before that little hot fix that fixed the fur types. Um, had all of the white tail they had taxed during that time turn into rares. <laughs> and if they were rare, they would turn into a common. It was, it was rough, man. Such a terrible bug. I'm glad we haven't had a bug like that since then. Because that was, that was brutal. That was just terrible. It was so heartbreaking to see all those trophies just like change the way they look. Because it's like, that's not how I shot it. Uh, the last great one we got was yesterday, Mason. A.B. Jones, how's it going? Uh, not my thing, Deer Hunter. There we go, two buckaroos. Oh, three buckaroos. Oh, I hit him. That shot didn't. We got him, though. All right, later, Johnny. Hope you have some good luck with the grinding today. Buckaroos should be an emote. The problem is that's a long word. It wouldn't really fit in an emote unless I made it like two or three emotes. But you're right. It would be it would be an okay one to do since we <laughs> since I've been saying it a lot recently. Buckle up, buckaroos. We got some bucks over there for me and you. That's, uh, that's our new great one chant. 
305. Kills on the grind. So we're not going to have another 289 kill great one like we did uh, like a week ago. But I mean, maybe we'll still get a sub 1000. I'd like a sub 1000. Just found a piebald five um, mid moose. Wait, piebald five mid moose. You talking like the mid rack? That's crazy, dude. Let's hope he makes diamond. You think 498 till great one? Ah, yeah, 800 kills would be nice. I'd take an 800 kill great one. That'd be awesome. That'd be amazing. Uh, no soul, no great ones today. Can you recover a diamond that you screwed up if it's not dead? I mean, if it doesn't die, you will be able to get another shot on it. Only if it doesn't die, though. If it dies, then it's gone. You screwed it up. Jake, thank you for the 15 months, dude. Welcome back. 15 months, that's a long time as a member. Welcome back, man. Got my first diamond yesterday. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Congratulations. What all did you miss? Lots of diamonds, James. Lots of diamonds. I think we've had over 10 diamonds at this point. Like, maybe 13. Uh, that's been it, though. No rares, no great ones. In fact, it's been like 500 kills since our last rare, I believe. Hoping we'll get a rare soon. And I hope that when we do, it'll be a super rare. Oh, we got two bucks over there this time. We've had a lot of really big uh, males show up today. So I'm hoping that we get lucky enough to pop a super rare. That is the dream. <laughs> Dude, he hit the ground so fast. That's amazing. Oh, for a 230 spyball, you're right. I gotta say that I want a 230s, and then it'll give me like a 270 piebald. That, that's how we gotta trick the game. Oh, how I would love to get a, a 130s piebald level one minimum weight. Yep, that's what I want to get. Y yes, sir. -y. Please, minimum weight piebald, please. That'll 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 trick it. That'll trick the game. Any rares today? Nope, no rares today. Uh, it's the same as every other animal, Reflex. All animals have, like, the same spook range. If you didn't know, though, tents don't actually spook the animals if you're traveling from out of render. What happens is if you're too close, they just don't render in. The only time a tent will spook anything is if, let's say, like right here, I can see this zone, right? So if I fast travel to that zone while the deer are in render, they'll spook. But if they're not in render and I travel there, they just won't render in. Hey, Golden Games. Yeah, we got a good amount of diamonds today. No rares, no great ones, but lots of diamonds. Been a solid day for the diamonds. What is the hot spot for the whitetail on New England? I have no idea, Matthew. I don't hunt New England. I'm not a fan of the layout for whitetail or moose. You have to search the entire map on New England if you want to find all your whitetail zones. So, to be honest, there's no such thing as a hot spot on New England. The whole map is where they are.
Did I find the zone I was looking for? Nope, we didn't find any new zones today. How can you tell how many whitetail you've killed in the game? I keep count separately on my phone with a uh, click counter app. Okay, no respawns. Um, I say New England's only good if you like small game hunting, Walrus. If you enjoy small game hunting, it's a really good map, but it's not good for grinding like they kind of made it out to be. It's definitely not a grinder's paradise, I can tell you that. That's for sure. Holy Jake! Thank you for the super chat! My gosh! Or super sticker, I should say. Thank you for being you. Well, thank you, dude. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing good. Small game hunting? We have summoned the Brobra. We summoned him, guys. Brobra's here now. All you gotta do is say small game hunting three times fast, and Brobra will show up. Uh, on your porch in a in a little package Stamped uh, do not return to sender <laughs> And then when you open the box, he's just like small game small game small game You know like the uh, the seagulls they just go mine mine said Brover's like small game Why does that sound like it'd be accurate? I don't know, that just seems like it'd be an accurate representation. <laughs> Ooh, nice, bro, bro. Gosh, man, I want an albino male pheasant. I want a leucistic, too. I think I kind of want the leucistic the most. I've already got the mela, so... It's just albino and leucistic left for me. Holy Cam, thank you for the super sticker as well, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing great. Holy, 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 holy. What do you think of the new Great One Fallow? I think it's an amazing addition. I'm so excited to grind them when they release them. It's gonna be fun, man. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a fun time. Nice, Will. That's awesome, dude. Congrats. Get that big mail down. Get that big mail down. Who invited the frat boy? <laughs> it's hilarious, Mythic. That's hilarious, Redux. Can't find a pick of a great one typical anywhere. It's really rare. Not too many people have killed a typical rat great one. It is one of the rarest great ones in the game. Aside from like ultra rares. To be honest, I think getting a typical rat great one whitetail is more rare than getting the exact combination of rack and fur for moose that you want. Like. Getting a typical rack, white tail seems to be more rare than getting your like combination of choice for moose. Pretty insane. Like the typical rack white tail is like the only one where it's so rare to the point where like half the people I talk to don't even know what it looks like. But if you guys have not seen the typical rack, um, the deer on my thumbnail is 50% the typical rack. The, uh, the antler on his right side, like his right, not our right, but, um... Oh, actually, I have them back-to-back, -back, don't I? Hmm. I forgot I flipped the image. It's the, 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 like, sh more normal-looking antler. The one that kind of looks like a diamond, but a little bit better. That's the typical antler. And I'm trying to get one that has that on both sides. But it's just absurdly rare. Hmm. Okay, they're being stubborn. Move a little bit, sir. Nice. 
That worked out better than I thought it would. First great one was the typical rack. That is so lucky, Chope. Ah, I'm so jealous. I need one. I need one so bad. Yeah, maybe, Nicholas. Maybe. Hey, Snakehead. Thank you for the super chat, dude. When do you think they'll add the great one? European Rabbit or Mallard? Those would be hell to grind. Yeah, it'd be rough, man. It'd be a rough grind. I... <laughs> I think eventually they'll probably add a small game great one. Like, eventually they have to just so there's one. Ooh, big boy three. Oh, that's huge. Oh, that's huge. That's monstrous. Holy. That's a big, big basket rack. That's a big boy basket. Is that the smaller variation of it? It might score low if that's the smaller variation. That might be the smaller version of the basket rack. If it is, that's not going to score super high. No, I'm not going to stack, Newt. I don't really want to at the moment. Oh, hey. Oh. That's nice. Um, I think it's the bigger version. Might be the smaller version. If this is the bigger version of the basket rack, it's going to score like two high 260s or low 270s. If this is the smaller version, it'll be just over 260 probably. Maybe mid 260s at the most. Um, oh, please be 270. Ah, it is the big version. It was so close. 268.70. Oh, I see what did it, too. It's uneven. If this antler matched this one over here, it would have been 270s easily. Would have easily been a 270. Ah, man. So, so close. But so far at the same time. At least it's a diamond. I'll take it. I'm happy with that. Is a 258 basket rack rare? Uh, no, it's not rare. Basket racks have a huge range of score. They can be a troll. Uh, I had a 244 scoring basket rack once. I've seen them go anywhere from 244 clear up to 272. The basket rack has an insane range of scores. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's still cool for sure. I'm happy with it. Happy with any uh, big old basket rack, even if it's not a tax worthy one. Let's see if we got these respawns back. We should by now. Uh, it's the one that we just uh, saw, Michael. It's not like close tips. It's just the shape of the antler itself. It's hard. Ooh, oh, that is a three. It's hard to tell until you've seen it a lot. I just missed the easiest shot. On that guy. Feels bad. How many kills did I need on my longest whitetail great one grind? Uh, 3,700. That was for my first grind ever. Technically, it was only a 2,700 kill grind, though, because I got a bugged great one at 2,700 kills back when they could bug out. There we go. 257. This is the basket rack right here. This is another variation of that basket rack. I don't know why people call it the basket rack. I think it's because it kind of makes the shape of like a basket. It's almost like looping around as a little basket with like all these tines. I don't know why it's called basket rack, but this is a basket rack. Hey, J Dog, how's it going? Good to see you. Hope you're doing great. All right, later, Newt. Thank you for dropping by. 
A. Oh my gosh, this run is loaded. We've had three level threes and then a diamond potential two that got away. Why couldn't we have just got a rare to spawn this run? It would have had such a high chance of being a diamond. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta do that, uh, Pricey. Sometimes you just gotta move stuff around. 266. Holy, excuse me, I don't know if that came through the mic or not. I turned away as far as I could to sneeze. Holy. Would love a great one. Pheasant have the perfect setup for one too. If only they had a pheasant call. Yeah, that'd be cool. That would be pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty sure in classic they have like a pheasant locator call. Yeah, I would love another quick grind uh, caution for sure. The thing is, like, quick grinds aren't super often. Um, out of all my grinds, let's see. I've only had three of my 25 Great One Whitetail show up in sub 500 kills. So it's not likely that it'll happen, but it could. But it is uh, not super likely. I'd say we're more likely to get another like 1500 kill grind. Maybe like 1200 if we're lucky. You think we should have a collar for every animal in game? Uh, not really because a lot of the animals don't actually have collars in real life. Like there's no such thing as a bison call. Or like a mountain goat call. Or an ibex call. Like they just aren't a thing in real life. So they're never going to add them I don't believe. Oh, I shot in between the lungs on the first one. Yikes. So you're saying there's a chance. Yes, there is a chance that we could get a great one fast. But it's usually a much more lengthy grind. Than what we've got going right now. Is that three? Oh, and I saw the butt of one. Yep, there's three of them here. risky ah you are so lucky that you got stuck on a rock <laughs> what a lucky deer wow rude does Oregon have a good turkey population yes it does I do believe so at least I know quite a few people that turkey on pretty sure you're allowed to take like two turkeys a year maybe more so I think we would probably have a pretty good population if that's the case. We for sure killed two, right? No? Rest in peace. I thought we killed two of them over here. Guess we didn't. Yeah, I probably will at some point, Redux. My wife really wants to get into turkey hunting. So I'd imagine eventually we will get into it. How many kills am I at? 328. Are those a thing in real life, though, uh, Bricker? Are those actually a thing in real life? Because the discussion's like whether or not that's a real life thing. I've never heard of a mountain goat collar, even an electric one. Only electronic calls I've heard of are the ones for, like, uh, predatory animals. Uh, Pike, thank you so much for the super chat. Dude, is black gold still rare on hogs? It's only rare on wild boar. 
So if you have a wild boar, then yes, that would be a rare. Thank you for the super chat, by the way. And how you doing? Hope you're doing good. Well, yes, they have electric deer calls, but we're talking about like goats. We're talking about like mountain goats, ibex, things like that. I'm pretty sure in real life there is no callers at all for them. Big sad it's a wild hog. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, it's not rare for the wild hogs. But for wild boar, it is a rare. How long have I grinded? Like in total, Matthew, or just today? Or just this grind, like. What time frame we talking? In total? Uh, in total, I have 36,000 whitetail kills, 20,000 red deer kills, um, like 7,800 bear kills, and like 8,000 moose kills. Hopefully that's what you meant. Is brown hybrid rare for feral pigs? Got a diamond one the other day, but I don't know if it's super rare. Um, no, that's not a rare for feral pigs. Feral pigs only have two rares. Uh, those rares would be... Where'd this deer go? There it is. Uh, those rares would be... Albino and pink. Those are the only two rares for them. Is there such thing as having too many level one whitetail? Um, only if you're, only if you have so little shootable deer that you can't get enough to make them respawn reliably. With whitetail, as long as you have 20, 20 or so respawns. Oh, there's an extra one here. As long as you have 20 or so level twos, then you're fine. Nice, James. That's awesome, dude. Uh, Great 136 was yesterday, CJ. We got it yesterday. There we go. Dead deer, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, the dead deer got in the way of that shot. Holy. I can't believe that. <laughs> That's insane. That is insane, man. Holy. I hit. <laughs> I hit the dead deer with that shot. That is wild. That is absolutely wild. I have no clue, Derby. I have no clue, man. I mean, the only way that I can think of is if, if it's in your recycling bin still, just open the recycling bin and click restore. Uh, if not, then I don't know what to tell you. There we go. Let's see. Are you a diamond? Nope. That's not a dime. Feels bad. He didn't quite make it.
Up in there, gotta do a quick little reset skadoodle. What's the funnest animal to hunt in my opinion? Like the most fun uh, animal in the whole game? In terms of fun factor, I would say probably just hunting birds on Revon Thule. I have a ton of fun with that. Absolutely love it. What type of mic do I use? I use the Shure MV7. It's a pretty solid mic. It's a little bit more on the expensive end for USB microphones, but it's because it's a really high quality mic. Love this microphone. Uh, honestly, if you're looking for a mic to buy, I'd recommend going with one of the Blue Yetis as your first mic. Like either the Blue Yeti or the Blue Yeti Nano is a really good starting point for a more affordable option for a USB microphone that is pretty plug and play. Like it's not super complicated to get set up. So I'd say that's a good place to start with. No, my mic never broke, Luke. It was the cord. It was the cord attached to it that broke. I just had to buy a new uh, USB micro, and now it's fine. Where's this buck, man? Where are these bucks? They're hiding from me. They know I'm going to shoot them if they pop out. There we go. There we go. That's nice. Love to see it. Ooh, get freaking wrecked. All three of them down. Let's go. What's the kill count? Uh, 339 after those three kills right there. Nice, we got five bucks here. Five bucks at this little lake. That's awesome. One ninety-seven. Hey Dawson, how's it going, dude? Welcome to the stream. What's the best amount of zones for peak herd management? Um, I wouldn't say it's number of zones. It's more of like how many deer you have that are shootables. I recommend getting about 20 shootable level twos amongst your main zones and then try to get the rest of the map to be level ones or at least as much of the rest of the map as you can. Like you really don't need more than 20 shootable deer. And so anything that's above that 20 mark, you can probably try to uh, get to go to ones. But I don't really measure it in like how many zones, I measure it in how many like deer. Usually I'll say like 10 zones because most of the time you'll have like two shootable bucks in each zone. And so if you have 10 zones that equals like 20 deer in total that you can shoot. So usually like 10 is a nice uh, sweet spot if each of them have two bucks or more. What are main zones? The zones I'm hunting right now, Matthew. All the zones I'm hunting right now are my main zones. All other zones on the map, those are external zones that I don't grind. It's got a very low level 2 piebald. Nice, pricey. At least it's a piebald, right? Even if it's a smaller one, that's still a piebald. That's awesome. Uh, just right click it and click restore all, Derby. If you just right click the um, recycle bin and then click restore all, it should work.
Okay, this zone's being a little bit more consistent now. We're always getting two bucks there. Which is really nice. Honestly, we can move that tripod back to a more efficient place. Now that we're not hunting the close zone anymore. Of course, gotta empty my inventory a little bit. Reloading might also help, so I don't mess up here. <laughs> Butchered him. Alright, let's uh, do the magic of loadouts here. Ma Honestly, loadouts are a lifesaver. So happy they added them. Because now I can just go to one of my empty loadouts, grab this tripod, then just swap back to my whitetail loadout. There we go. We don't even have to go back over there because we can just fast travel, do it at the tent. Yeah, Rev's got a ton of animals. It's really good. Rev's definitely my favorite map in the game, I would say. And boom, just like that, we're back to the whitetail loadout. Love to see it. Any floaters? Nope, there he is. Yeah, it's awesome. It is definitely awesome. Loadouts have got to be like one of the most convenient things they've ever added to the game. Found a great one, Rabbit. Of course, Chandler. Should have known. If only we had zone filters. That'd be awesome. Zone filters, trophy lodge filters, like all that stuff would be so, so good. I think that's honestly what they need to do. They need to make like a, um, a filter update, right? A filtering update where they add filters for need zones on your map, um, ability to toggle off like different structures. Like maybe I don't want to see all my tripods on the map. Maybe I could toggle those off. Sorting by like fur type, species, uh, metal rating in the in the tro in the trophy manager would be amazing. Like there's so many good things that could come from doing a little bit of a uh, little bit of work on filtering systems for the game. It would make everybody's lives so much easier in Call of the Wild. I don't think I got a good shot on that second one. Can you get a great one without shooting a deer? Uh, it used to be possible. I don't know if it is nowadays. I haven't seen an initial spawn in literally over a year. But it, it used to be possible. Nowadays it's unknown, but it looks like it, it can't happen anymore from what I've seen. What was my 36th of great one? It was a big wreck whitetail from yesterday. Absolute beast of a buck. Also, thank you, thank you guys for all of the uh, new subscribers today. We have jumped up a lot during this stream alone, like 100 subs just this stream, so thank you all so much. And uh, if you enjoy the content and you're not already sub, consider subscribing. It's uh, It's been a wild day, guys. It's been a wild day. I'd have so many tripods. Uh, you can have up to 36. You can have up to 36 tripods. <gasps> we got a one! We got a one here! Yes! <laughs> Oh my gosh, finally. It is about time. We're working towards getting this zone out of the rotation. Let's go. Is he the only buck that respawned, though? All right, we're going to do it. We're going to shoot to get them to move so I can see. 
Okay, he's the only one that respawned. Oh my gosh, that's such a relief though. One less deer I gotta worry about over there. Can we ban Aiden for spamming and being weird? My gosh. <laughs> what a way to enter a stream. Chill, bro. Holy. Gotta give me more than two seconds to reply to you saying hi. <laughs> Jeez. Chill, bro. How many kills since the great one? Uh, 351. Watching this on the side while playing and thought you got a great one. Oh, yeah, I, I could see how that would be. A, yeah, I could see how that could sound like I got a great one. To be honest, I get just as excited for like getting a zone managed down if it's a zone that I don't like. And I don't like that zone. So seeing a one there, that made me so happy. You know, it's the little victories along the way that make the grind. Sure, you know, the ultimate goal of a grind is to get that great one, or a super rare. But you know, it's the little victories, you know, like getting a piebald after not seeing a rare for a while, you know, getting a wonky diamond, finally getting a, a zone shot down that you don't want to hunt. It's the little victories that make the grind, that make the grind go, you know? The little victories are what keep you afloat along, along grind. A long, a long grind. My gosh. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. Say that uh, five times fast. There we go. Okay. Two deer right there. Not bad. There we go. Uh, yeah, for sure, bro. I can do that. Honestly, I can just pull it up on my phone because I have the phone up in front of me for the uh, the clicker counter. Oh, that's a buck. That's a buck right there. Um, I can probably, bro, bro. I, it's been a while since I've done some angler stuff, so yes, I can probably. I need to do something angler related soon, so yeah, I'm down. However, uh, what time are you starting? Actually, yeah, I gotta, I gotta know what time you're starting first. What time are you gonna be doing it? Because I gotta go over to, um my brother-in-law's place and spend a bit of time with him because it's his birthday today. So, I don't know when I'll be back. Exactly, John, exactly. You gotta enjoy the little victories as well. It's what uh, makes the grind enjoyable. Yeah, I hope so too, Redux. That'd be awesome. That would be pretty sick. Nice, Noah. Yeah, like it's a it's a really satisfying when you get rid of a zone that you don't like hunting. It is super satisfying. Any tips for herd management on reindeer? Um, I actually have some herd management content for reindeer on the channel. I would search up Scarecrow Reindeer. It should bring up some videos on it. 
Um, to be honest, I don't remember too much about it, so those videos are probably going to be your best source of info relating to um, herd management for the reindeer. Because I'm pretty sure in one of them I kind of talked about what I was doing and what was seeming to work. Holy Drawn! How's it going? How you doing, Drawn? Nah, Brober's always watching the stream on like five different devices. You know, he's got it on the TV. He's got it on, uh, he's got it on his, uh, microwave. He's got it on his, uh, phone as well as his PC. And occasionally the toaster. But, you know, that's, uh, that's for special occasions. You don't break out the toaster TV that often. Couple nice deer. Ooh, dropping them. Popping them and dropping them, as they would say. You ever got to the sink? Oh, he hasn't quite graduated to watching streams in the sink yet. He has not quite got that far with the technology. <laughs> yeah, Fundy. He watched it in the mirror. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my gosh, that's great. Now I'm just imagining Brober like looking in the bathroom mirror and like he's got the uh, stream like mounted on the wall behind him. Like he's he just put a TV on the wall behind him and he's just looking into the mirror like, ah, Crow got a great one. Wow. That'd be amazing. <laughs> That'd be quite the setup. Jeez. I swear, some of the stuff we think about while we're streaming. Jeez. Watching it in reverse? No, he watches it on 1.5x speed and then watches it on 0.25x speed. Just so he, like, gets the full experience. That'd be wild. All right, deer, move. I need to see if there's another buck here. Still those three. What did you miss? Lots of diamonds, no rares, no great ones. Yeah, true Redux, true. Got to keep the entertainment going. Three hundred and sixty-four kills, guys. Anything tax-worthy yet? Yes, there was one really wonky diamond that we taxed. I think that's been it, though. Just one really wonky dime. You watch streams from your dog? <laughs> Does he, like, open up his mouth, aim it at a wall, and, like, a projector comes out? It just projects the stream on the wall. Holy. That, that, that sounds about right, Nappy. Hey, that would explain why they pretend to hate each other so much, you know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> He's like, oh, bro, bro, mate. I've been around you too much today. Oh, man. He threatens to print a poster on my face and put it up in his bedroom. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what he meant by that. I mean, he just wants to, like... 
I think I think the reason he would want to put a poster of your face up in his room is probably because if he wakes up from a nightmare and he sees that, he's going to immediately be like, oh, that nightmare wasn't so bad. Johan, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Great one, Moose. Finally, after 2,400 kills. Nice. That's awesome. That's a pretty long grind. I'm glad you finally uh, put the grind to an end. There's a deer. That's what we need. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I had to throw a little Brober roast in there. You know, he roasts me all the time. I gotta, I gotta fire a few back. All right, we got two there. Three. Oh my. We'll get two of them though. One second, cat wants out. All right, everybody. I think we're going to go ahead and end the stream. My daughter's getting tired, so I'm going to go help put her down for a nap. And then I need to go get some food as well. And then I got to go visit my brother-in-law for his birthday. And then I'm probably going to do a stream later with Probra. So, yeah. I'm going to hop off now, but I appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all being here. You guys are great. Uh, uh, let's go claim these two first. So we ended the day on 367 kills, which means... Quick maths, let's do quick maths. Uh... 367 minus 92 equals... We killed 275 whitetail today. We killed 275 bucks in four hours. 
Not terrible. Not terrible at all. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.